here, I want to know more uh, the behind the scenes, and we will talk about that. Doesn't doesn't feel that the players are getting that shaky anymore, even in the LAN event. You feel that they are more comfortable. Yeah, I they agree. Are feeling, they're feeling better, so it's more all about the skills. Even freaking Andy, is the first time that he's here. You feel that he's 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 just fine. Anyway, you were right. You are right, Aztecs. and we have the Aztecs versus Hindustanis. Game number one, Aztecs ACM in the south, the Viper has a red in the north. Remember that here, map generation is right, Tristan, not that important. The walls are there. At the back, you cannot walk to the edge of the map. You have one goal, one stone, but then you can expand all over it again, getting longer and longer. Yeah, I, I mean, this is the matchup we, we thought was, was possible, but there's one thing we didn't talk about. The Ghulam for the Hindustanis, man. Like, that unit is so incredible. Uh, I have played this matchup once, actually against Nili. I don't know if Nili's going to remember this. One and a half hour Empire Warriors game. Elite Ghulam was killing Jaguar Warriors, even. They're, they're, I don't know, maybe I just suck. But, like, Gunpowder, Ghulams, that combination is horrible for the Aztecs to deal with. And uh, as we have a, a beautiful, beautiful tweet there from Lars. Thank you, Lars, for enriching my life. But... Uh, I, I think ACCM is going to get to need get, have to get some type of a snowball with lots of military production at some point here uh, because the late game for the Hindi Sunnies is so strong. And we have two civilizations that with the gold bonus they have, Aztecs with the relic bonus, but then Hindustan is 10% more for all gold income. Yep, yep, if yep. can they equalize the, the bonus advantage from the relics? Depend obviously how much you are getting, uh, if you're getting 5-4 here. Usually the Aztecs is dominate, but not with Hindustanis, probably. Mm -hmm. I will say this, like, it kind of makes your decision on where you push and how you play this simple if you're the Aztecs against Hindustanis. Because this map has the outer region, right, which has uh, two relics on each side. But you also have those five relics towards the middle. And if you don't have a Cav civilization with the, fat, with the additional mobility, I think you just forget about the outside altogether and you just snowball that middle area. So it is possible... Last time I saw Viper play this map, he went two monasteries, tons of scouts to get the relics, and he was really prioritizing the outside. So honestly, it's very possible here for ACCM. Yeah, maybe go like double barrack opening, kind of just like Arena Mem, and just push the middle and see full, what happens. Full aggro. Yeah. Then full aggro. Okay, so you you prefer here Asas or Hindustanis. I think if uh, ACCM want to win, this game has to be quick. Yeah, I, I, I think... Have to fill in. I have in. Like, honestly, in the prep, the Ghulam, I completely forgot about it because we've seen Hindustani so many times we've not seen the Ghulam because there hasn't been a situation for it. But that unit has a bonus against Eagles and it also is great against Archers. And Aztecs are like Eagles and Archers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and maybe some Monks mixed in. So, yeah, I got to lean towards the Hindustanis. And Viper, that has to be very obvious in his mind right now that the longer this goes with the gunpowder Ghulam combo, the also worst they are it faster. Could be for the Aztecs. Also, they are faster because if you go champions, jowers, infantry, yeah, yeah, the yeah. speed cannot really compete with that, and you still can make the hand cannoneers, skirmishes as well. Skirmishes for masters are, are solid with that little uh, upgrade, but I, I don't know. You can also add hazards yep. at the end if the game is going for longer. Then the relics is going to be crucial. Yeah, I right. mean, crucial. And Viper got to hear ACCM talk Aztecs, Aztecs, Aztecs. So we've been chilling out here on the couch. So, I mean, it's it's very interesting too as we see now Viper's point of view. Interesting how he's playing with team colors, like always. He he, he selects color yellow, but he's actually playing with team colors. That's not something he used to do. But same. Um, at ACCM the same. <laughs> you don't see yellow anymore. Yeah, right? yeah. But like, Viper picked Hindustani's late, and I think he picked it late as a counter to the Aztecs. This was not a sieve he was going to play until he saw Aztecs. That would be my guess. Okay, there's the barrack already for the Viper. Viper is up with 25 population. That means probably he's gonna go for a, for a scout approach here. He's not walled yet while ACCM is walled. Maybe he was expecting that he could go up very quick up, but yeah. Viper is gonna go for a fast castle, ACCM as well, Tristan. Yep, absolutely. Um, this is something we've seen from Viper. He just kind of knows, even if you don't, right? You're just assuming, but he figures there's gonna be no need to really wall quickly on the backside of his base. And ACCM, there's a little bit more possibility that Viper to come forward with scouts. Um, looks like Aztecs have been picked and banned by players in 70% of drafts they were available in. That's interesting. Yeah, let's take the, let's take the POV. I think the, the players are going. The ban's probably got to be most of that, right? Because we haven't yeah. seen Aztecs played much at all. No. Nope. The only other player that's played Aztecs in the main event was ACCM. Yeah. Right. So I think ACCM is the big one that's at least here at the main event who's obsessed with the Aztecs at the moment.
Yeah, I'm checking the Viper. You can see, guys, this is Viper POV. He doesn't see yet any Relic, as far as I can see. Not in the outside. Oh, Hera played Aztecs yesterday okay. as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, well, now look. Uh, as you were talking, uh, ACCM is already focusing in the middle. Yep. Yep, it makes sense. It yeah, it, it walled the backside. It's going to pressure the middle here. And for Viper, obviously, you, you may have confidence in the Ghulam, but that still requires a castle that... It's for later. That's awkward for your eco here. And, so. it, and it's for later also. That, yeah. He needs right? to see, like Viper wants to scout and adapt, see what his opponent's doing, and then and then base any decisions he makes on that. Yeah, now he's exploring in the middle. As you can see, he finds out one Relic Horse Collar. Both players are going up already with one population difference. That means 25 seconds is what you need exactly to make a village. Yep. Barak already coming up here from ACCM, who has uh, five villages on goal, which is definitely not a lot. So it doesn't... looks like he's going to commit very, very aggressively, because if you want to go aggressive, you might add eight on goal, something like this. But uh, four on goal... He's kind of standard. Yeah, well, it, it might just be. It, it, yeah, and he didn't sell a stone here, so I think it might just be an eagle or two for ACCM, and then again, you, you just go based on what you see. I I don't think ACCM is going to be shocked to see Viper adding scouts, um, and you know, not too much else to really touch on right now, man. But yeah. again, a big series. Good time here. Yeah, and as as a, a good player. Time here. As a player, like you, sometimes, depending on the player, but at least for me, it's like you want your first game to be chill. Right. If there's nerves, this helps you settle down. So this could be a good time for both of them to kind of ease the, their way through the series. We can tell to, to the viewers that even if it's very cold here in Berlin, the gaming room they have is quite warm. They have very good conditions to play uh, AOE. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, right? Uh, so many PCs running, yeah. it oh, but warms it, up the it, room. That specifically, that one, is it, like... That is only the, them two. They is close. It's yeah. perfect condition. So, props to to definitely Gamer Legion House that is providing a very very good setup here to to enjoy and have the best settings possible. You can see now TC TC already up for the Viper. He's gonna play standard. Yeah, like he was arena. But TC on the stone. I know like he kind of has two choices for the wood lines, but I think that's something that's intentional here from Viper. And it doesn't mean he's gonna take stone right away. But it gives him that option when he feels the moment's right to move over to the stone. That is an unloomed villager. Viper, first game. He says, yeah, come here. That's crazy. You could fight with that eagle and kill a vill, but ACCM was scared that Viper would quick wall it. And now he does commit to a vill. And still, no loom for the Viper. And the villager should be weak. But Viper's got to pull it away, and Viper saves the villager. That is crazy. ACCM probably could have got the villager pick at the start and forced Viper into a quick wall. But he was scared, man, and then had that yeah. logical click that said, oh, shoot, I actually should be attacking this, and then it was too little too late. I think he was using six village Viper to, to avoid that one, but obviously you do, don't want to lose anything. He didn't. Is the second TC not yet up? He's doing the TC with one village. Yeah. You know, with one village, so the CCM is doing the, the third TC already. We see how many eagles, two eagles, two spears, uh, five scouts already, and light gaps. Well, light gaps right now are going to be definitely eating those those units. And the monks don't have any upgrades yet. Remember that every upgrade you you research for the Aztecs monks, it gives you extra 5 HP. Yeah, exactly. And so if you get Sanctity, which is a tech that gives you 15 HP, then you get the additional 5, so that's plus 20. And I think that should take you up to 50, but I also uh, skipped third grade. Uh, here we go. We've got the light cap looping around. Like you said, no upgrades yet. And that's beautiful micro from Viper. And that is just as clean as it gets right there. Another easy kill for Viper. At least he makes it look easy. And he also noticed that ACCM had gated the back. And so he's got more units here. This is beautiful. He knows ACCM will be moving out for those relics. He'll be keeping an eye on them. And that's three quick kills for the Viper here. We see, he has the map control right now, for sure. Village numbers is almost the same. He's getting the relics in the, in the middle. Uh, well, the first one. And I I'm very curious to see, you know, the, the, the gold bonus, you know, with these two civilizations. Oh, no! Oh, my Eagle God. is coming out, and now Viper is in. He might not want to stay in there for long, but... This is just another example of how easy Vipers made it look with the mobility here, man. And he's going to actually just break that gate down so he can run in and out freely as he still has like have in the middle. And he's going to be three TCs, too. His eco is also looking sharp. Yeah, he's looking good. He's definitely looking Don't good. Don't tell me, dude. Saving a lot. No, 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 no. no. Well, going to lose another monk. Going to lose another monk. I mean, the lights here are much faster. Yep. I mean, you have the spear, you got the eagle, but they are much faster. He's taking oh another my and probably he's going to take another. You have to be careful. It's not only the chaos, it's already 6-1. Uh, the Viper seems to be 
in the start of the game, really on point. Yeah, and honestly, if that if the units wouldn't have regrouped horribly there, that, that other light cap would have gone yeah. down. That is simply due to the patch right now. Viper, incredible start. And uh, he's got to be happy. And he's uh, he's on stone as well, right? So he could build up towards Ghulam. And I I mean, we knew that Ghulam was just is going to be so devastating at some point, right? And, and I am gar guarantee we're going to see it. But then Viper's had this level of micro. Like, yeah. everything has gone so perfectly for him, even before we see the Ghulam. Yeah, he's going smooth. I mean, it's surprising that he's mining a stone already with five villagers, you know? So that means that he is expecting maybe ACCN to go for a transition into Pike Arbor and trying to come aggressive, and then he wants to avoid any potential damage with the castle. Did you see a you see a potential forward castle for the Viper? Because right now, he has seven light caps. He's taking more kills here. He's going to take another one. And then if Viper is doing a castle forward, then it's going to be in a great position. I guess it depends on what Viper thinks about his late game. If he thinks the Ghulams are as good as I think, he might go for a fourth TC. He might just yeah. boom up more. He might build a more defensive castle so he can produce the Ghulams. I mean, this is... <laughs> this is the as perfect a game as it gets so far for Viper. It really is ridiculous. Yeah. He's got he's got monks bringing back relics on both sides. He's got full control of the middle, and ACCN. That's gonna he will know that he's behind big time. So he's gonna hope for an extra level of of something, and and he's gonna drop a fourth TC. Yeah, he's gonna on round. Outside. I mean, I was uh, telling you here. 10 villas on a stone already for the Viper. Yeah. 10 villas on a stone, that's quite a lot more than you expect. This is still the same amount of villas on food. The Lecta is still around, trying to control all the map. And now, ACCM with two relics, the Viper two relics. Both are already done by the Viper, a little bit later than his opponent, the 4 TC. This is going for Imperial for sure. Yeah, it, it absolutely will. Yeah, I, I, I like the fact that you called that out, the amount of villagers on stone there. I do feel as though Viper still like, what, the moment he did that, he might have actually been thinking, I'm so far ahead, ACCM needs to all in. So he could have been up against a lot more in the middle there, meaning he needed to prep for the castle. But he actually sees most of the militaries out here, and he sees another monk, and I think we know what's going to happen to that monk. That monk is going to die. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he has more HP because he did already sanity, it's not possible against the Light Cat. There's more like that in front as well, so right now he's still definitely with the map control. He's going to take that relic, and the eagle is going gonna, gonna to be able to... Well, he's going to take that monk. Okay, <laughs> monk is... Oh! Viper noticed that he's been seen. Yeah, 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 <laughs> he yeah. noticed that he's been right seen. Right away, but he can avoid. He can avoid yeah. that he's going to be down. There you go. Can we go with the POV? Okay, doing the loom. If Viper is doing the loom right now, it probably is an indicator that he's going to come forward with the castle. Otherwise, why you are doing now the loom? And we might see a forward castle. Might be tricky, though. 11 army, 9 army. Imagine that there is a point. Oh, Eagle Warrior, more barracks. Oh, man. Did you see that teleport? Yeah. There was some teleport yep, there, yep, right? Yep, yep, You just yeah. got to load up Age of Empires 2 right now and the units teleport. It's, I'm really happy about it. We are combining Age of Empires 2 with... With what? With some other games? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep going. I want it fixed, Let's but keep it's going. all good. It's all, Thankfully, all fine, the, teleport, you know? the teleports haven't really you know, affected too much. Yes, it, it didn't affect. It does happen on occasion. The affect. players can't yeah. do anything about it, of course. It didn't affect at all. Anyway, Light Cat is going gonna, is gonna to be chasing now those Eagles. The Eagles are already upbraided. He's going to be able to take those ones. You need to kill it. You need to kill it. He's going to take it. He got it both. Yeah. And no conversion. Yeah, and Eagle Warriors now in. So this yeah. is going to be a better trade. And maybe that's something ACCM will be happy with. Yeah. But six relics out of the nine on this map at Viper's base right now. Oh my God. Six oh of them. My God. <laughs> well, now we, now we know that the castle is, doesn't need to be forward. He is not going to be forward because he sees the Eagles. A lot of army for ACCM. This is the beauty of the Aztecs. Aztecs are, yeah, except the Eagles. Well, 50 gold, the cheaper units, you can expand them. We also forget to, to say that uh, Aztecs produce faster from the building. Yeah. We don't mention that. Their eco is really good. Their carrying capacity too. Fine. Like yeah. right now, ACCM uh, still has. Well, he has just as many resources collected now. But th up to this point, he was actually collecting a bit more. Now, Viper's castle is crazy to me. Like, why are we building a castle outside of our walls with no map control? If yeah. that's seen by anything, that gets denied. ACCM's monk can see it. Yeah, but he doesn't have the army here. It's the lucky he has. But he's greedy, man. This, this is a greedy move, typical from the Viper. Let, let's let's be honest. You don't need it there. You yeah. can make it your base, you know, and, and that's it. Look at the gate he's doing, trying to save the villager. Okay, but he's coming with more. If he saved that villager, he, I mean, let's see. 
Typical Viper. He's gonna take the Monk. Keep focus here. Now he's gonna They're lose so, They both wow. so badly want yeah, that yeah, Relic. Yeah. That's why Viper's building that castle is because he sees the Eagles and Spears here. But ACCM is reacting to the castle in some way. And uh, by reacting to it, I mean he clicked <laughs> towards it right before it went up. And now his Monk and Spearman are dead. There's one Ram in the Siege Workshop. I don't know if he's gonna make more. He's doing plus two. No, he canceled. He canceled. He was doing the plus two. He see the castle and then he decided, okay, he's not needed. Resources though. ACCM is about to go up to Imperial. He might drop now a castle between that stone and that goal. And if you are going up to Imperial like he is... The Viper is up too? Viper's already up. Oh my god, how many abilities he got in the queue that he is looking that he wasn't going to go up? Okay, both are going up to Imperial. This is now uh, a big question mark here. Where do you do the castle? Well, he's doing at the back because you don't know if your opponent is going up. Yeah, and, and there's Ghoulams. There's yeah. Ghoulams in yeah, the middle, yeah. right? Th those Ghoulams are a problem. I think th th this is now... Uh, the problem for ACCM. You need trebuchets in a trebor, right, to, to push down the opponent's castles. Oh, I but like you, that. The only unit that you can make that counters Ghoulam is the unit out of your castle as well, right? So you kind of have to choose unique unit treb. I think he's going to bank on trebs, and he's going to hope eagles are good enough. Because this is not, like, Ghoulam is not something that anyone is expecting to see this tournament. It's not something you see very frequently because Hindu Hindustanis aren't played a lot. I think it's possible ACCM does not remember how good this Ghoulam is, and they just shred Eagles, man. What about champions? They stand at the infantry. It's not an option here. They can be plus eight, but I like it a lot, these bars on the right side. Yeah. You can raid, disturb a little bit. Mobility here matters. The only negative things for the Viper is Ghoulams are great. He has one castle. He's going to make a second, but if you lose the castles, you don't have the production as well yeah. with those Ghoulams, and then you can spam from the barracks. For now, military numbers, ACCM has a lot more. He does. And a lot more. Really, really a lot more. And if he keep raiding, Astis is still very dangerous. Look at the population. He's about to go up to Imperial of the Viper. But as we are talking, it's complicated. And he's in. Situation. And he's in. And yeah. Viper's been trying to wall this. And you're right. The side barracks have really distracted here. And ACCM, he might be able to get the champion if the raids give him some time. And he can uh, take Viper down. But... There, there's enough Gildans to push it away. Towards the middle, Viper will have gotten his second castle up. And those... Pretty cool, no mini three star. Look at the gold he has in the back yeah, yeah. right now. I mean, with six relics, it's true that ACCM has a lot too. I believe that he needs to make the upgrade, the tech upgrade that gives you 10% more gold. And all that you see at the, uh, outside. So is the third relic got it by, by ACCM? I think he did it. If not, seven, two relics, it's impossible. Yeah, I mean, Man. it. you know, the, the problem then, Back to the unit thing is the the unit thing. Wow, I'm so great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back to the unit conversation, man. Is Viper has great gunpowder too. So if Champion is your best answer to the Ghoulam, then gunpowder still answers Champion, and then you suddenly need to switch into skirmishers here. This side base here is is the one thing that gives me confidence for ACCM. I love that. Eighth that is grade. so nice. It has already paid off for him. But Viper does have Ghoulams over there, and he's looking to take care of that. Yeah, look at the army numbers. He's getting closer. You can see how chemistry is going to kick in in a moment. This is Elite Eagles as well, with plus four illumination, blood printed. Those monks are going to be so tanky. But how many monks he got? How many monks? Well, six monks already. Even if he's converting a few of those Ghoulams with that, some good combination. But the snake is having now a lot of army, and the castles are being targeted now for, for that trebuchet. Tristan. He need to repair those castles because without Ghulams, even if you have more population, I don't know, man. You need those castles so badly. Yeah, and this this is because Vipers had to pull his Ghulams to that right corner. So there he is to address this. It looks like he has enough to make sure that those raids won't do anything. So ACCM is going to shift to the left with some raids. Keep in mind, though, Viper does have that gunpowder now. So he's got enough Ghulams. He's got some gunpowder towards the middle. Did, did, I don't know if Redemption's been in yet for ACCM, but if yeah, he yeah, could get that, okay. He did, he so if all. he did get that, he might be able to surprise Viper here and convert the cannons. Viper has not given ACCM any reason to get Redemption. So ACCM thinking ahead here could lead to a Bomber Cannon conversion. Okay, let's see what is going to happen now. It's so many monks. Can we even check Vodka? How much HP got those monks right now? 75. It's okay. Oh, 80 now after Devotion. 80 HP. My goodness. The castle is now under two tray, which is, he probably should forget now is him this area now because the Ghulams are there and focus completely on the other side. Nine range also for those hand cannoneers. Yep. He has eight, ten more in the queue. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Viper already with 1,000 more gold from the relics. Who has the advantage here? Because the Viper 
has so much army, Tristan. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's got to be Viper, but he still is a couple steps removed from this being his best comp. To my knowledge, he doesn't have Elite Ghulam. It's possible we missed it here. He's getting raided there in the right. Like, his castle is being repaired. He's sinking stone into repairs instead of building more castles. Things could fall apart here for Viper. He's got those Ghulams on the right, and he that is helping. Let's see. The Eagles are going to dive. They have to avoid those Ghulams. He needs and conversions, Tristan. He needs some conversion. He's not getting many conversions. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. The okay. Ghulams are insane. They are very, very good, but he's getting some conversions. He's under the castle. I don't know. Look at the numbers. 46, 27. I think this is still getting absolutely everything, but the castle is going to go down. Hand cannons are there. He holds somehow. I don't know how he's holding this situation, but the Bomber Cannon behind all this is going to take the Trebuchet down. And if he's losing those traps, he's going to be probably game number one for the Viper, or this is still a game that he can play ACCM. Well, I mean, he converted the Bomber yeah. Cannon. The fact that he converted the Bomber Cannon actually gives him a shot to take out Viper's castle. Viper's got to wait for a new one here, but Viper's hand cannons and Gulams can also take out the traps here in a moment. So. Yeah, look at the range. Look at the range of those hand cannoneers. The Gulams are now going to take the trap, which if the castle is still not down, the Viper is taking absolutely everything here. What can ACCM do right now? I mean, we know ACCM, he's not going to give up. You know, he's not going to give up. He's raiding in the north as well. But what about the Atlal skirmishes is the only answer because you need to counter those hand cannons somehow, Tristan. Yeah, exactly. But, but the problem is you need that combination, right? So let's see if we can continue to have the Eagles mixed in there. It is just such a tricky matchup at this stage. I think Viper predicted this with the with the way he's played this. As Viper goes for some quick walling there, that castle should protect most most of the north from the raids. And now it's his turn with Trebs on the castle of ACCM. And those eagles aren't getting anywhere near those hand cannons. Dude. They melt. They are melting there against that, those units. The eagles are going to be around. How many skirmishes he got? I need my glasses, Tristan. I don't see this. Okay, eight skirmishes, a lot more in the queue. And 53 army. The Viper has 60 military. Six military. He just military, need to hold that area. Six relics. He's taking, you know, lots of gold. This ACCM is going to need to somehow get time, and he dives with those Eagles. These Eagles are so strong, and where are they? Ooh, they're gone, they're man. Gone. Did he make Garland Wars? I don't think he has Garland Wars. Can we take the Eagle? No. He might with plus eight, those traps. Well, he wanted to kill the traps. Yeah. If he take those traps down, he can definitely stabilize with that castle. But military numbers, ACCM, almost nothing. Because if we take the KD, the Viper, has 60 unit kill more. Does Viper have Elite Ghulam? I must have missed it. No, no, no. It, he doesn't. It doesn't have Elite Ghulam? He doesn't have anything. Oh, that's no, no, crazy. No. Yeah. No, yeah. Elite, I mean, these are regular, just plain old Castle Age Ghulams, right? He, he doesn't have e even the Blast Furnace upgrade yet. Yeah. So, I mean, Viper's not even close to being capped out then. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And well, he's I got those three traps still firing. I mean, ACCM's about to run out of stone. I know he's got 22 on stone, but he's got zero in the bag. Yeah, okay. He will need to buy some. Chemistry's going to be there. Still, ACCM missing some important upgrades. Well, very important upgrades as well. Garland Ward. Obviously, he's not thinking on um, infantry because those hand cannoneers are just too powerful. How many he got? 23 yeah. hand cannoneers. But now the trade can be okay. Look at those skirmishes. They have a crazy range as well. Yeah, they do have the range. Uh oh. They okay. do have the range. The problem is, is if the Ghulam gets in close, they're dead. And it's actually kind of funny. We got Ghulams and Eagles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mixed in for ACCM because he converted them. He doesn't have the Ghulams here. Where are the Ghulams now for the Viper? I see also a dot on ACCM base. I think he's inside with some Eagles. Yeah, there's but one. But also one Ghulam here that he doesn't notice. Some on the outside, yeah. Okay. I think Viper forgets he doesn't have Elite Ghulam here. With 30 Ghulams, you should be stalling production on everything to get Elite. Well, it's I, very easy yeah. as a player to just assume, like, remember you clicked it, but maybe you missed a little bit of resources at that time. Like, there's a massive jump in armor from yeah. but the uh, problem is that Ghulam to Elite. He's just farming it all the time. Like, he doesn't really have the resources gathered, you know, all together to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. make the upgrade as well. You cannot stop the production. How, how to make long the is this castle going to stay up for ACCM? Oh my god. Forever. The villagers have been hammering this forever. Their arms are going to start cramping here. <laughs> Jeez, this is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so and now he has a stone. He has a stone conscription on the. I mean, he has been playing all this without conscription that it makes you produce faster from all your buildings. Let's see now. He's gonna try to kill those threats. He needs to kill those threats, but the eagles are not even close to touch them anymore. Viper has a hundred more kills, and keep in mind that eagles are so much more expensive than the hand cannons and the ghulams on the other side in terms of gold cost. And he doesn't actually have many more Eagles, man. I'm just seeing seven right now. Look at the army numbers. It's not 60 anymore, either. It's not 60 anymore because the 
Yeah, because the Vietnam player is spamming skirmishers. Skirmishes forever. <laughs> 10 K viewers, let's go with ACCM here and the Viper, you know. Bombard cannon there, you need to convert. The monks are helping a lot as well to keep those units alive. They're healing. Yeah. Yeah. And this ACCM is just, it's, it's a machine, man. He's playing against the Viper, he has better units. Pikeman upgrade to kill one. Well, in case that he's bringing light caps, you know, he's thinking, okay, we need the, a counter. And, and actually, and look it. at the timing. At the same time, on the other side, Viper's getting cab upgrades. So it's just, it's just the game sense these players have, right? Incredible game sense to understand. The, what the opponent's gonna do, what they should be doing in this situation. But man, left side right now, the Ghoulims have looped around. I know they're not elite, but those Ghoulims on the left corner. Can we take Vodka on the left to see those dot points? Yeah. Oh my god! 20 villagers have died. How many he killed with those Ghoulims? And those Ghoulims can continue into ACCM's base as well. And even though Viper hasn't progressed much further, that is still three trebuchets that have been firing on a castle. ACCM will have no future castles, man. He has yeah. put his stone, the stone his father passed down to him, and the stone that his grandfather put in his will into that castle, and now it's all gone. Finally, the castle is down, as you can see. The hand counter is still there. That TC is empty. There's nothing. Only the tone center, so you don't need to protect anymore. Here is so many, so many little, little, little skirmishes, some pikes as well, the monks. And now how you kill the castle? It's not only the hand counter is. You know, sorry, the traps. The castle is there to, to prevent that one. Yeah. And you don't have bomber cannons yourself. You have. This is why we were talking, like, the Aztec has to win quick. If the game goes longer, you are out of tools. Yeah. Especially against the Hindustanis. Yeah. The Hindustanis are a counter pick civilization. You could pick them against civs that are one sided on cavalry men, like, uh, let's say, like, potentially Franks. Yeah. And then you could pick them against eagle civilizations because of the Ghulam. Viper's not using the Ghulam anymore, but still, the hand cannons and light cap is going to do more than fine. It also is less expensive for him. Uh, he doesn't have to spend as much gold. And yeah, this so just takes spikes. us back to that fighting spirit from ACCM. He's going to continue to fight this one, but I mean, there's no way back for him now. Yeah, now 30 farmers only. He needs more, definitely, to keep the production. The Viper keep coming with more and more army. The Ghulam's coming from behind. He might, if he's getting now, he says he's going to raid even more economy. There was a point that ACCM was raiding Sorry, getting also Echo KD much higher, and now the Viper is the one who is killing more villages in the game. Yeah. If you have the better army and you are also killing more villages, what is left here from ACCM? Yeah, and it's it's tough too, because you don't want to resign at 150 pop, you don't want to resign when you're Aztec with a couple relics and have these techs. Also in the first game when you're losing, it's best to play on a little bit longer, uh, just kind of get, get warmed up a bit more. Uh, this is all standard stuff here, but I mean, Viper's just moments away from killing all those gold miners. I and don't know. He knew what he needed to do here. He knew he needed golems yeah. and cannons, and he did an amazing job getting the six relics. I don't know if you didn't know this, but I'm going to tell you, Tristan, in this kind of games, ACCM only resigned with this over 5k score difference. We're getting closer. Really? 4k. 5k. And as a rule, 5k. It has to I be 5k. I think you're just good at predicting. If not, I think if you're not, I think you're guessing yeah. here. I like it though. Yeah. Let's see. 400. Okay. Let's 400 see. more. Let's see, high train, but the high train, the chat, I mean, no. level two high train, we need to go higher than this. This game deserves okay, a lot more. Okay, here it is. Look at that, wait, what wait, I told wait, you, back to what score. I told you, the score is what, 5k go back or to not? The score. Oh, 5k, I told you, man. 5k, man. Yeah, you got 5K. it. 5k, call, it. good call. Good call. <laughs> I mean, listen, again, I don't know, I don't know if you, well, if this is a thing before this game or not. It's man. a thing, man, it's a but thing. Now was, you know, okay, yeah, you pay attention, it. pay attention. <laughs> 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 well, don't, some tweet chat, 4.9, 4.9. Stop, stop in stopping the hype, man. We're hype with the 5K, okay? Uh, I mean, in maths, in the school, you go 4.9, and you what do what'd you say? It's 5? I get it, an uh, F. It's 5? Yeah. I get an, an F because I, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have okay. extra homework if I okay. talk back. No. <laughs> Viper has played excellent this game. Yeah, that was so good. I mean, have control of the relics using the civilization at the maximum. No, no chances. But, but look game. at the draft and where Hindustanis came in compared to Aztecs. So Viper knew. He he thought about it. He said, oh, "Okay." Yeah. He said either drive graveyards or fortify clearing for Aztecs. He maybe thought, well, Mongols is amazing on dry graveyards and not anywhere else. So he's going to go Mongols there. It must be Aztecs on fortified clearing. And we didn't even see elite Ghulam. Like, I don't even think that Viper dominated, but I, I still think it could have been way better, right? So yeah. I think he just predicted it. And and you can predict, man. You can guess the correct civilization, but you still have to play it. And he got six relics there. It was like 6-0 on the kills there at one point at the start. He had an eco lead. It was, it was just clean. 
Yeah. So, so clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was trying to do ACC and what he has to do, but it, it wasn't ever an oath there. Now we most likely going to have uh, Mars Madness or Hippopotamus. Let's see if they can tell us the, 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 the map, and then we will discuss about that. We might see Byzantines then in, in Hippopotamus as well. Could be a good choice, because we thought that could be on, on Arena, but... Uh, Berries also have galleys that are faster, and then the transition to Castle is, well, Berries is a very solid civilization in pretty much any of these maps. Yeah, if I had to guess right now, we go from ACCM side, just through the maps, it would definitely be Mongols on dry graveyards. Marsh Madness, it would make sense to see uh, Byzantines or maybe Armenians, Acclivities Mayans, and then Berbers is kind of the leftover Civ, uh, or, or Byzantines. Um, for Viper, uh, assuming it's going to be on ACCM's maps, right? Marsh Madness, Japanese is perfect. And then I think uh, Malians or Romans, like either of those three. Um, now, we've seen a lot of Romans picked on graveyards these days because it's a really scout spear heavy map. So, Knight Pike is good for the strong pikemen. The 5% extra efficiency for everything is super smooth. And the problem is that the Slavs so. could be also a, a good option, uh, yeah. right? Like, uh, But this is what I like for those draft. When. It's hard to predict. It has to be hard to predict also for the player, for the opponent. Like some civilization that... Because if it's too clear this civilization is going to be for this map, it's a small advantage for your opponent. Yeah. And so it's kind of... You can play with that kind yeah. of things in, 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 in the uh, civilization choice. Yeah, I think I, I think ACCM is going to feel like he was too, too easy to predict after game one. Now, Mongols, you could predict on dry graveyards. I still think it's one of the best tips. That's part of the yeah. problem here. Is like if you you could be predictable as a player or with your strategy if it is one of the best strategies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter. Like you, it you know matter. that it's going to happen, but exactly. you cannot counter. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. like, okay. And Aztecs wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, not in that situation. So, okay. Let's see what it's going to be. Do we know the map? They told me the... the, the well, Viper, I, I think they had to step away and fix them. They might not oh, yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. It's possible they're joining they the lobby click. now and ACCM yeah, yeah. will get to choose, but... Okay. I think you go... Uh, I mean, the good thing for us as far as predictions is Marsh Madness and Hippopotamus are very similar. It's a uh, hybrid, right? We could also see throwback strat, Berbers on Hippopotamus, Villager Rush. Oh. Because last year, the Hippo, the TC spots for the Hippo were closer. And so villagers were always taking wood really close to each other. And we saw a lot of vill fighting. And they changed the map because of that. But ACCM might want to use the faster Berber but Vills. Last year, the Berber Vill is still 10% faster. Now it's been nerfed. It's yeah, 5%. it's now 5%. Now it's 5%. But hey, 5% is 5%. It's still fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to do that against the Viper. Imagine that you lose the yeah, no, fight and you got the, 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 the speed and then yeah. you're still losing. Because they're quick, quick ball, you know? Yeah, yeah to going to Vill fight Viper is like uh Yeah, well I, I don't I don't I can't. He has the fighting comparison. spirit, right? But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to do that. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much for this one. Let's see if we wanna know the, the map in a moment. They are going to start as you can see. And um the Viper want to be in the top two, and for being in the top two, he need to win this series. Yes, yes. Yeah, so to, to be more clear on what that means, this is day four of the groups, tomorrow's the last day. At the conclusion of five days, the top two players will get a bye to the semifinals, and they will also be on separate side of the semifinals, which is pretty big if you yeah. want to avoid maybe one or two of the players you think can give you problems. Let's say Hera. Yeah, so like right. right now, I mean, we've got Hera Tata later on today. Winner of that is definitely going to be in a really good spot to get a bye to a semi. You want to avoid one of those guys in the ideal world. Um, so yeah, this big opportunity for the Viper, I agree with you. And then for ACCM, he needs wins. And ACCM goes Mongols here in Hippopotamus, game number two. I had thought Mongols would be chosen somewhere else, but there is some additional hunt out there. And Mongols have, do a great job at scouting early. I prefer another map as okay. well. Mongols. I prefer another map than, than this one. Well, I will so. tell you one thing that, that is notable. If we could just look to the back corners behind the player bases, uh, just there should be hunt somewhere, unless I'm stupid. Oh, but there is in the north. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you know about that, uh, there's actually hunt in the south and the north as well. Like, if you know about that, you can actually take advantage of it, man. But it wouldn't be the craziest thing to try and sneak here if you're ACCM out to those areas. Yeah, but if Viper Explore, Viper Exploring the map is usually uh, really, really strong, yep, really yep, good. Yep. Japanese, you get the, the water control, and then they might few men at arms going. I don't know. You can go also scout. Uh, the map is very interesting. Like, this map is very interesting. It's, well, he has kind of fixed, let's say, generation, but, other, but even like that, uh, you can move also for so, so many spots. What do you prefer here? 
going for the wood in the middle look like some players has been doing going at the back. Mm, I actually like the wood in the middle, and I just think it's it's a bigger wood line, and that's safer? the main. It's not safer yeah. because it's uh, closer to where the enemy can come in, but it's actually easier to wall because it's a bigger wood line, and you can stay there. Whereas the other areas in the back, you gotta. Um, you know, you got to move. You got to move, and yeah. you don't want to move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want your lumberjacks to stay. So, yeah, I think that's fine. I like this so far. ACCM in terms of benefiting from Mongols, he's taken in the two elephants, which you start with. He's even pushed in some deer from the middle. So, lots of Mongol hunt, and that's the big thing why you would see them here. Uh, they have an incredible late game. I think the the light cav and the lancers is really your mid game strengths with the Mongols. Uh, but we have seen. We, remember, remember, we were casting. And we saw Mongols on a map where we never thought we'd see even a castle. And we somehow saw Elite Mangadai and even see Jonager click. So yeah. I'm just saying, maybe yeah, yeah, we bring yeah. it out, man. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. we will somehow get to that oh, man. in this game. Oh, man. Anyway, we see here the Mongol civilization. Now we're going to check Japanese uh, civilization. The, the thing for this matchup, in my opinion, is that Mongols need to get the initiative. If you are behind, Japanese is too dangerous, even more on my hands. Yeah, Mongols absolutely need to take the initiative because because like you'll run out of um, a hunt. hunt, and then once the hunt's gone, what you're else? just a normal sieve. <laughs> <What else? laughs> even I would say even weaker because to make them really strong, you need very long time. Yeah, the, the super late game, yeah. right? And yeah. This is not really what you want. Anyway, let's check for those fans. Right? There, there's a big there's a big thing that needs to be pointed out here. Can we see uh, Viper scouting? Okay, this is it. So this is Viper scouting. Notice that he didn't find anything whatsoever in the top left area of the map. Normally there's a dock. This is the first time I've seen a player not dock. Viper should know now something aggressive on land is coming. If I have fish and he doesn't, I will stay ahead. And I know it's Viper, but he needs to preemptively wall. We're now seeing ACCM. He need Viper needs to preemptively wall stuff because ACCM is going for a really fast uptime to go for scouts. Now we see both players again, and as you can see, this is a stable. Why he didn't make the dock? Well, because he's going for the hunt. Yeah. And he preferred to prioritize that. He has the mill taking all that extra food that is absolutely insane. But even with that uh, extra bonus, the resources collected is only a hundred more than his opponent because he held the extra fish. Yeah, the fish, exactly. And those fishing ships will continue to work. Viper has the same amount of villagers, and then Viper also has the fishing ship. So it's very rare for players to be okay with having lesser workers here. And that's essentially what ACCM has gone for, as he's, he's trying desperately here to get any hits in he can. But for the time being, Viper, he waits till feudal. He's dropping his barracks now. Like I said, Viper quick walls or pre-walls are needed here because the second scout's out already. Would you come in these situations if you are up quicker? You know that you have already a scout on the field, a spear. Your opponent is it's just up later. And you see that he's doing now the barracks. So does he have malicious? Why not come in with a tower? Well, where are you going to tower? That's well, he, he made the barrack quite far, right? Yeah, that's I think Viper, and that's that's actually something we need to give credit to Viper for. The positioning of Viper's buildings there makes that tower Avoid feel that. really awkward. Avoid that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you can take one Lambrican, but do you still have the second? Watch so this, though. Back. ACCM, he's going to the dock villagers. This is really smart. And Viper, he's known for quick walling, but let's see He can't there. He can't there. In that area, you cannot build the palisade, but he can build it here. He's going to be able to save the village. Let's see this spear as well. He's not going to save it. Or he will do the magic. He's gonna try and save one of them, and he's okay. gonna he's gonna be able to save one of them. Beautiful quick wall there from Viper, but at the end of the day, he still lost a vill. Yeah. And ACCM is docking to make some fire galleys to kill that fish. Viper might not expect that. Yeah, and he's now waiting there with the spear. He noticed he's gonna be gathering the food, and well, he can still make some more damage. The scouts are now coming on the wood line. He's gonna take how many villagers? He's gonna take a second oh, villager. Oh, might no. be zero. It's gonna save be it. zero villagers. Save it, man. He save it. Well, he's on point. He's paying attention, but he's coming back again. He's trying to find the one that did really damage. He's gonna be able to do it. He Ooh. got it. He got it. Now he's two villagers down for the viper. Could be another yeah. one. Could be another one. A viper no. with a crazy quick. He's what is that? And, oh, and they say that Dan is the queen wall. Then what is the viper, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, he did it. He saved it. But even like that, he has lost already too. So the damage, it's already done. If we take in consideration I, that ACCM didn't go for the fish. Yep. I gotta say it. Why not pre wall? Why not pre wall? Yeah. I don't. I don't understand it. I mean, I'm not as skilled as him, right? So I, I would maybe have more confidence in my abilities if I were him. But you just pre wall it. Pre-wallet, and then those villagers are always fine. It makes the rest of the game a bit easier for you here. 
If you're Viper, now here we have a big moment for Viper. He did add a fire galley, he's having success. Don't tell me that Tiger. No, Tiger won't kill the Vill there, and Viper's expanding to the berries. He's also expanded to the hunt. But I this think is Cloud, ACCM saw that. This is Cloud when they pass in the POV, it was the villager. Yeah. He didn't notice. Now he's gonna still gonna he's find looking. it. He's, he's gonna find checking. it. He's gonna find it. He's gonna find it. Come on, they're in danger. It's gonna come with so many scouts. Viper is a god with the quick walling, but this is too many scouts, Tristan. Yeah, too many scouts. You gotta do the same thing as last time. You gotta let some of these die, and then you gotta try a quick wall some of them. He do not notice. No, well, he's he in the spear, okay, but actually it's oh. He's trying to quick wall the other He's one. He's gonna wall the, the, the scout. No, he cannot. Oh. What? I hate you, Viper. <laughs> I mean, he don't lead. I hate you. I hate this guy, man. I mean, he, well, he's in the sound. He's in another I mean, room. Don't worry. Know? Don't worry, man. He's gonna get rightfully punished like normal humans do because the other villagers are still exposed. He won't be able to get the quick walls down on this one. Ah, what? I hate you even more now, man. And the archer's alive. <laughs> and the archer is alive. That is unfair. This should be against the rules. What is that? And I'm going to tell you something, Tristan. If production replay this, I hate production too. <laughs> we hate everyone here. Oh, beautiful teleport there. Thanks to okay. me. That was insane. It, it, Viper's archer with 10 tiles back. But, you know, listen, Viper, you know, he's staying in this despite all the damage he's taken. And those archers are sitting there on the goal. This here. is what we want to see. The POV replay. Sorry that I interrupt you. Very good. Very good here for production, but if we can replay the other moment, it's gonna be even better. Actually, but wait a little bit. Actually, no, don't yeah. just don't do just it now. Stop, stop yeah. doing replays because we're not gonna get to watch the game because yeah. it's been like sixteen thousand quick walls production. <laughs> we can save it. Yeah, we can yeah, do yeah. a montage after this game. <laughs> Unbelievable! Uh, right, Unbelievable! Right now, four hundred food in the bank for ACCM. He's got three hundred gold, and he's just going for scouts. He's got like one skirm out there, but that's not really where it needs to be yet. Another opportunity for ACCM. Now he's too close to the TC, he shouldn't lose anything there. Now he's walling and yeah, now the village yeah, yeah. is gonna be close to the town center. No problem. As you mentioned, the pre-wall, is he doing for the viewers? Because right now, he's, if he's still not walling no. his wood line, there's a, the scout, no, 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 go back, go back. There's a lot of scouts on the wood, there you go. <laughs> to his oh, this is too much going on, Tristan. Yeah, yeah, for everyone, you I, know? I, I seriously, I think we can watch this quick walls later. Yeah, yeah later, <laughs> later, in the highlights, in the highlights, <laughs> you know? In the highlights, okay. And now, we are paying full attention, and you guys can see, a scout, Arches is gonna be inside, no, I, I mean, vodka, <laughs> vodka. The nickname now is perfect for this game because you're gonna need a one to to see all the action, Mr. Mr. Tristan. <laughs> okay, be careful. This is the spear. Remember that infantry. Oh, if you take that the spear, those scouts are in real danger. Like, well, the, the infantry for Japanese attack 33% faster. That's why you have to be even more careful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right now, I uh -oh. mean, big thing is how are we gonna get to Castle Age? ACCM. That should be another vil pick. There's no quick. Big hombre. I mean, well, what is this? I say it even in Spanish. I mean, seriously. I mean, for real? See, he said with a house. But, but it's not okay. even a quick wall, I it's a house. There's a theme, though. Every time there's been a quick wall, he pays the price with a villager dead, right? Yeah. And at ACCM, he came in here wanting kills, and he has found them. Now, that might be a villager of his own that dies. But ACCM's killed five eco from the Viper. ACCM has clicked up to Castle Age, and ACCM has a civilization that can make lancers, wow. and you cannot, I, I shouldn't say cannot, but, yeah, yeah. but you cannot easily quick wall out lancers that have one range. But just look how beautiful what a job save. ACCM has done, that with how many villages he has saved the Viper, he still killed five. Yep. You know, five, who could have been 10 probably. He's there on the way is, to Castle. He finally walled, yes, very quick, 60 minutes. Okay, and uh, now he's on the way to Castle as well, the Viper. The advantage is for ACCM. Yeah, 100%. I mean, 100%. 100%. There's clear. something happening in like the middle of the bases right now. Uh, we've got some action there. That's a lot of archers from Viper. Ooh, wow. That is going to be a problem for the next 90 seconds. But ACCM's done a great job to repair his ship here. Viper trying to save his ship. He's blocking with the fishing ship, and Viper is going to He's kill the ship. It. And now the villager probably too. Yeah, because the wolf is there, not going to let him go away as fast as he wants. He's about to lose it. And now maybe ACCM is the one with the oh! Oh! Oh, he lost it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. What happened in this map with the villagers, Tristan? Oh, uh, okay. bad day to be a villager, let me tell you. Okay. Well, it's stable. He has the skirmishes. Where are the skirmishes from AZCM? In the good position. A scout and skirmishes is going to be able to defend the goal. He has fletching in those skirmishes. AZCM will be fine right here. Yeah, and Viper might just go for vil picks because he knows that the, the life of these archers is not going to be long. 
And at, he's running this direction as well, which makes a whole lot of sense. But beautiful play from ACCMM. He's collected he's collected similar amounts of resources. He's got that Castle H timing possible. Oh, another arch is gone. He also okay. didn't use the market too much, right? Like, this no. is normal eco. He took a lot of the shorefish with villagers, I'm noticing, but he's still got farms. And yeah. he still has the potential to kill Viper's fish as well. He's worth the war up right now, I think it is, and he's doing. There you go, he's killed by the armor. I mean, the thing is, after all these battle, he's a heavy military, but Villa's number population is very similar. Uh, you need to make all the damage you can because the snake is gonna be there and trying to come back. Now he's trying to kill. You both also have tanks. to attack that ship. Yeah. Like you actually have to attack the ship and not oh, the fish man. because you might lose both your ships. Uh, Japanese power here for uh, the Viper. Double HP armor also for those fishes if you remember. And now the snake is going double archer range. Huh. On a, oh, this is cav archers. Yeah, I think it's cav archers, it's but cav we archers. need free walls. We got lancers coming to our base here, and Viper gets some some house walls down. Viper sees it. And ACCM should know it's Cav Archers. He has a decision to make here. Like, does, does he go Elite Skirm? Maybe he has some Skirms left over. What does he want to do if Viper's trying to mask Cav Archers? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would go Siege here, but he's doing an extra tone center to be safe on the woodland. If he has Skirms, it's now that goal is going to be in danger. Now that goal is going to be in danger. Not uh, Botkin. He's doing the Bloodlines. Is Siege a good option here now? I mean, he doesn't have the wood yet, mm. ACCM, but uh, the goal is... Uh, uh, as, a, as a player, you're always happy if you're denying gold like this, and you don't have to invest anything more into it. Yeah. I actually think he's he's fine, and you normally opt for the eco. So, the second TC is coming up for him behind all this, Viper still doesn't have a lot to push him back with. ACCM still has the, dom uh, the dominant position on water. So, this is going to be really awkward for Viper to ever come back from. Right. Uh, population is clear. I mean, yeah. you just look at the village, but the army numbers is really, really important here. It's true that he has also the water control. He's looking really healthy and the double TC for both players. Now he's taking the fish. Let's see if he's going to notice and kill that galley. But two more villages down for the Viper here, or three? You cannot quick wall against. I mean, if you quick wall against. Well, you got to against... run past him. You got to run past him, ACCM. You, you, okay. can't, yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah. can't hit from behind like that. Yeah. That was a little sloppy, but obviously he's doing a lot of different things right now. Did he took the fish there? He, he, Can we check the fish? No, he didn't kill it. Yeah, but, but I mean, the villagers, the monks, everything at Viper's base, so exposed. This is just crazy. Like, okay. Viper just can't really move around right now. Viper has seven on food. That includes those three really inefficient fishing ships. This should snowball hard for ACCM as long as he keeps the pressure on. Yeah, well, we can see how he's doing now. Botkin arrow for those skirmishers. Milita numbers still close to double, and he's taking the... He's taking everything, man. Yeah. I mean, he seems taking everything. I was going to say, he's taking all, he's taking everything. And Viper, like, I'm looking oh, look at, at his that resources. DC on the north, that Viper is doing all out of the action. But we will find, we will check it out uh, soon. He's now converting a skin. Look at that tone. This is a really good tone center. I mean, he's going to find it ever, ACCM. He probably didn't even explore that goal. It, it's a good TC, but he's going to need time with it, man. But he needs an answer now at, to, to push back this army. And I think for yeah. Viper, he needs, like, eight cav archers and then he can really start to micro i'm a little surprised that he's spending so much on water because there's no there's not like a big fishing eco left yeah. on this map so i'd like to see viper just focus on the cav archer production that's what we thought he was going to do at the start of castle age still no horse collar though i don't know how many farms he got because that can be painful in the later game but now he's gonna try to kill finally the fish i think he will eventually yep. yeah he's getting now yep. he's getting now and Suffering economy here for the Viper Teresa. Yeah, it's it's rough. It's rough. Suffering. I mean, but he's gonna he's hoping that he can just survive for now and counterattack like this, but he goes right into the TC fire. Oh, that's he's losing. Because this is happening a lot of things at the same time. He's attacking here on his economy on the farmers and then he's trying to counterattack. He it's converted two lances though, which is good, but this position is really complicated for the snake, Tristan. It's funny, it's funny how he converted two lancers and as he was looking at that. ACCM was looking at the Cav Archers, right? So Viper gains two units as he loses two units. And that's just that's just a, a, the rare, clear example of how multitasking works in this game, <laughs> right? Um, pros and cons all the time. And on a map like this, when ACCM brings this level of pressure, it is really hard, man. I mean, we saw it when ACCM played Hera. Hera did not underperform when he got smashed on Marsh Madness by ACCM. So, and that's even more exciting for the series because ACCM still has Marsh Madness remaining in his maps. Wow. So if he wins this game, 
Yeah, he could do maybe do a similar thing to Viper, a Marsh Madness, then we could have the game vibe. I want. mean, ACCM maybe cannot win a series, but you feel that he has a very stable performance. Like, he always performed, let's say, well. You don't see, like, big big mistakes or Titanis. You know what I mean? Yeah. The other player has to win him. Yep. Right? Has to play better. If not, ACCM is going to get you. Of course. Right? Yeah. He's, a, he's a great he's a player. He's, great he's player. He's been top it's 10. Competitor. He's been top 10 for the last Super years. solid, right? Super stable yep. every time, well, you know? But... But he has insane early feudal age potential. Yeah. And so if like he gets those sieves, like the oh. Mongols, he does he, he does a better job that, that maybe any any players out there in terms of his aggression. Because like even Hera Viper, they can do the crazy early aggression, but they oftentimes opt not to. They play a little bit more defensive, right? ACCM just throws units at you. And he has simply been all over Viper ever since Feudal Age began. Can, can we take a bot can, a POV from uh Fog of War from uh, ACCM to see if he has spotted any of the other TCs. This is the Viper, let's go for. No, he doesn't see. He didn't even explore the north, so he doesn't know that Viper is yeah. there. He didn't explore also the, the other the other TC. So Viper is on four tone centers. He still need to do damage, more damage, because the Viper is still not so far behind with the village number, even if he lost already 11. Yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned though, Mem, there's so little gold spread out throughout the map. Yeah. And then there's these massive main golds that are very far forward. So if ACCM is going to drop a castle on that, that is going to be horrible for Viper as Viper loses the monks. Great addition with Lycav there. Gold is going to be the issue for Viper. The Would other resources he's kind of catching up with, but he needs gold. Would you buy the castle now from ACCM? Floating almost a thousand gold. 100%. Yes, I will buy and make the castle there. Yeah, you know? 100%. And you know what happened is Viper gets two conversions on my Lancers, and then I don't have the army, and then the castle gets denied, <laughs> and then Memb is like, oh, what is he doing? You know, and then I stop playing tournaments. So <laughs> I'm la kidding. La. Okay, <laughs> let's see. The Siege War shopping, I think he's preparing. Now, if you if he's doing now a couple of his Scorpions or a Mangonel, he's going to have the time and he's going to have the momentum. It's 500, 500 stone. It's gonna be 1,000 on gold. It's still a lot of army for both players. He's getting closer because he's four tone centers, Tristan. So mm, the game is getting closer. It's still advancing for AZCM. But uh, look at the army now. Army is getting from higher. Viper. Yeah. Yes. Japanese it's, it's CA are no joke. I'd like to see Viper squeeze in bloodlines, though. I'm seeing a lot of weak cav archers out there. And something that can help with that is the bloodlines upgrade. He'll probably be getting it soon because I see him buying some food. But uh, obviously now you go for the defensive castle. You don't want to move forward, Bem. And uh, you want Mangadai production. Like, Mangadai are in one of the best units in the game. So I think a safe castle is more than fine. Yeah, he's doing there. He's Ooh, doing there. Is that safe? Well, he's doing <laughs> not forward. But now, <laughs> look at the amount of farming he has. He's doing a Mangadal. Where's the skirm resist? Are there a skirm resist? Ooh, is this okay, that's, that's our, if he can get that up. It kind of protects his main gold. There's extra golden stone there. That's actually a really nice cast. Even the bear is now is here with some light caps. And those lights that can do some damage here. He's taking how many villages? He's taking a few more. He's going to take like three villages more. Already three villages. He's going to take a fourth one. There you go. And he's taking more. He's losing quite some here. 11 villages more. And upgrades not even will borrow for the Viper. So ACCM with a very, very solid position here. Even if the army from the Viper is still. I scary. love this. I love this. Like, Viper's oh. got the CA mass, but yeah, the, but the Cav Archers have to be in one spot. And so as Viper chases the units in the north. He runs into some fire ships, which kind of hurts. He's also got like having the south. This is beautiful from ACCM. Yeah, ACCM is also adding now outpost in the north. Eventually, he's gonna find the other tone center. The Mangrel is still there. He's coming with more light cast. The Mangrel is gonna take the scorpion. He got it. And now with the light cast, he's gonna be able to clean those cavarses. No, because the Viper is on point with the micro. He's really on point. He's gonna take the mango he, now, he but, is? but they're still killing the scoot yeah. like, with the light caps. He's yeah, fine. No bloodlines. Yeah, yeah, Viper needs that bloodlines upgrade. He'd get extra HP, and that could really help your. But it's so like, Imperial. it's so difficult to get the decisions right when you are getting attacked in three to four different spots. And then every time you move out, you've got another group of like have running into your base. Mm -hmm. This is just ACCM playing this game perfectly right now. Imperial Age as well for the Viper, but he's 20 villains more. I love the TC he's doing now, ACCM. Under the castles, you go the timing to go up to Imperial. You will get also those berries, probably the goal as well. And, and now, what? First Trebuchet and then into Magodice? I, I mean, right now, it, it, it seems like he just wants to go lead Skirm, and I was I was really thinking about this because I would just queue up Mangadai because the unit's so good. But 
he feels as though he might not have the numbers compared to the Cav Archers. Yeah. So he's actually going for a really big brain play here to just, just go with Skirms. Go with Skirms, save Mangadai for later, maybe use the castles for Treps. Uh, but Mongols, I mean, have so many options, right? They could still raid with Hussar, right? Their late game is insane. And those are really tanky Hussar. They don't have the, the, the plus four. Yeah, but they have a lot more HP, almost 20 HP more. Don't remember, it was 18 or something. Oh, oh my god. He went, man, they're on point with the micro. Look how much things yeah, are really happening, good. and they're really on point. Really good. And nah. Viper's still no bloodlines. Hey, oh, Viper's, no blood. cab archers, Viper's cab archers shouldn't be fighting skirms. Oh, but man. But look at the split oh, micro man. from ACCM. Okay. And, this is beautiful. Like, this is so nice. I, I think Great it, game, huh? Yeah, Great it, game. It's, it's interesting one. how, you know, this has happened in a lot of series of ACCM, where so the first game he kind of struggles to really show what he's made of. But cool. now people are looking at this. Maybe they didn't know a lot about ACCM before. And now they're like, oh, I get it now. Like, I, I get why everyone freaks out about this guy. He is a freaking god. Yeah. And look at now. This castle is, I mean, he's playing safe. Way to go Way to go wild, right? He filled with the advantage. He's doing Siege Workshop. One of the rams. I mean, whatever he's doing is going to be great here. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. how do you stop? Because with the army he has, I mean, it doesn't stop the rams, and the only skill also the army, so it's fine. I mean, it's looking so bad for Viper. ACCM could consider, like, Militia at this point, or, like, Champion or something. Yeah. Viper's got, he's got eight Cav Archers without Bloodlines. He's got four Monks, he's got one Manganel and a Scorpion. Like, it's not good for Viper at the moment. And with the Imp Advantage being there for ACCM, I, I really think Viper's got maybe one more attempt, right? And it's probably got to be Cav Archers, but still he's so far away from a critical mass. And if we think about this, what the Viper has done really wrong in this in this game? I don't really recall. Well, like, anything wrong, anything you know? that you can question for Viper? The pre-walls in the start. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the main thing. But like anything you question for Viper has to be because ACCM earned the position. Exactly. Right? He... We question players because the other players have, have made us question it, because they have showed up and they have done the right things. So it's and been we all ACCM. Talking, as we were talking in the start, you are the Mongols, you want to get the initiative. He has got the initiative the whole game. Yep. Being aggressive, being going forward, going to the left, to the right, trying to get the, the, the fish, you know, but controlling his macro really well. He got the hand card even. He got all the upgrade. He has everything. Yep. He has everything. Now Cap Rams, chemistry. He might lose all those skirmishes, but his main push probably is in the south, if we can check now. Trebuchet and his is coming. You need to kill that one because remember, that Japanese got get the Peru those crazy towers still don't think they can stop I'm ready Mongol City Pity. I'm ready for Siege Ram dude like, yeah let's see let's see a big old choo choo right into Viper's Ooh, base it's gonna, be, will. it's gonna be capped Ram all of Viper's buildings are about to go down to these Rams look at this Ram train dude that's crazy choo choo and it's it, coming yeah it's coming <laughs> it's coming yeah imagine with Siege Engineer I don't think he has Siege Engineer uh -oh. you know I know the castle but that's gonna be a doubt one it's gonna be a doubt a doubt cast oh huh <gasps> Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's happening here, right? Okay, but well, he's, getting, he's getting rammed to death right yeah. now, so he got a little distracted. ACCM will still probably complete that because he can send some army up there, and the rams have not been countered yet. Still no big commitment to that killer siege unit. Ram! And Siege, siege Ram! Ram! Wow! Then make the drill, and we are going to, to, to drive all the buildings from the Viper to the damn hell, really. I'm a little concerned, though, because you need something to protect this, the Rams, too. And but he has nothing to stop. Well, Viper's made Samurai. So, like, six to ten okay. Samurai could maybe kill the Rams. Samurai are pretty Can we good. focus in the south? We need the Rams. We need the Rams. And there's only two Rams here. The Siege Rams are not yet there. Skirmishes are... Also, he's double the army, man. Yeah. He's still double the army, but yeah, you don't need to... I mean, they're not. A, they're never going to be oh. elite samurai. They're never going to have a lot of armor. This is still a lot of pressure. But it's just worth noting the Viper hasn't been. He hasn't seen Mangadai yet. You know, we're still waiting. But oh man, he's doing now. He's doing now. Yeah, Sea Dram is in. Bracer. Oh, Bracer wasn't in. Yeah, it wasn't missing that. that uh, I was like, oh crap. Okay, that yeah. explains some things as well. And yeah. Yeah, now the Siege Rams, the thing about the Mem is you only need like two or three of them and they're wrecking buildings. It soaks up a lot of the arrow fire, a lot of the attack from enemy units, and ACCM is simply all over Viper, as we've been saying. Yeah. So and much opportunity for him to finish this game. The it's resources over. are insane. It's over? No. It's a pause. Okay, I thought it was over. So, even those I, being skirmishers, the Samurais have only plus one. It's not a stopping, but... No, no, no. I think I think they needed. he needed to fix something. I think ACCM yeah, yeah, yeah. is... is uh, just fixing something. We said nearly run through the hall. I'd never seen a man run so fast. Oh, wow. We have There's another, another man <laughs> running through the I'm hall. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully not an issue. 
Vipers uh, Bloodlines hotkey isn't working. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's it's just really big upgrade that he's missed here. And uh, clearly it is on Viper's side. So we'll, we'll keep you guys updated on what exactly it is. But it gives us time to analyze the situation. And oh, the game being fantastic. Viper has three on gold. And I'm not seeing an easy area for him to get gold anywhere else. He has two relics. Is the only good thing. Yeah, that's two nice. Relics. 600 gold already in the bank. No relics for ACCM. ACCM will have three castles. And he has the resources right now to get Elite Mangadai. I think if you just go wow. full Elite Mangadai with Seedram, there's nothing Japanese can ever yes. do. And yeah, we're back in business here, folks. Thanks for your patience. And Viper is just... I mean, we thought it was the GG call yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's possible that it could come in soon. He has 120 Seeds Village with almost an Entoch economy. Because at this point, if you're playing against the Viper, you have lost 11 Village. That's really nothing. Yeah. Really nothing. And the ramps keep going. It's still, I think, is missing Siege Engineer. For those people that don't know, Siege Engineer affect to the trebuchet with the range, but also to the ramps. Yeah. So it's going to make them more powerful, you know? But this army is powerful enough to dominate. Yeah, exactly. And... And I think the Mangadai now will come in. Elite Mangadai is on the way. This unit shreds any type of siege. It shreds really any unit except yep. maybe Skirms. And I haven't seen Viper over 15 of any type of army this game. He just never had the time to do it. And it just begins to get look more and more complicated. I'm sure right now he feels dead. But he's looking at his pop mem and he's seeing 160. So it's no healthy. one's going to resign no, no, no. at 160 pop. No, no, no. It's healthy, you know. I'm, since he see only the skirmishes and the ramps only, he feel like, okay, I can do some samurais. Maybe if I can reach Onegarabre, they can do the job. But when he see amount of Magudais fully abraded, that's probably going to be different. He yeah. still doesn't have a lot. He has 10 only. But he might hear 20, 30 elite Magudais. Then what you do with this army? Yeah, and it, it will be at that number soon. And that's, I mean, we'll see Hussar as well. I was kind of kidding when I said that we would see Mongol late game at the start. <laughs> I was like, yeah. this game's going to be over by Castle Age or something, but... Wow, incredible performance. Viper does have some resources back there, but he can't freely move out to them without being spotted. And okay, well, Viper still stays alive here. Oh, those monks! He's sending four monks forward. Oh, no, what you want? Four <laughs> monks down! Ay, ay, ay. Well, all the monks are bye bye. Skirmishes is still versus skirmishes, but he's hiding his what? Is this. How many mind with us? Okay, it's 10. I thought that for a moment that was 40. You know, I was like, what the <laughs> hell? I mean, I really well, didn't he's got some. he's got some in the back of his base, I noticed. And yeah, he must be bringing them forward. And now he's got the Sea Drams coming in towards the castle. Make the drill, please. He's missing that hybrid that they, they, they really eat those rams is so fast you know, the magudais are coming he's gonna try to kill those units he can't he's repairing the trebuchet that castle is gonna be down he just move it uh, his main attack into Choo -choo. yeah thumbprint and part and that is that's the problem with the magudais we don't see that often because they need millions of upgrades yeah, yeah. and drill upgraded. as well drill as yeah. well right obviously drill's gonna take some resources i think he's, he's fine he's got the traps Sea Drams have gone down, but it's still reactions from Viper, and ACCM's got the gold to spend, and Viper has a fourth of his economy repairing that castle. That will now fall, and his population's actually higher than it was before, but he is so close to losing, like, 50-60 pop. Yeah, I mean, it's really believed that ACCM is in a position that he only can lose the game itself. It's not that the Viper can win the game. ACCM can lose it because he has a very important advantage. 200 population, 50 army. The Viper only 15 military. It's almost no army at all. The man with that bonus against the siege is going to clean those trebuchets very fast. And ACCM is going to get the 1-1. One -one. At least that the Viper is doing a miracle. And miracles rarely happen. Yeah, th this isn't doable. This is not winnable for the snake. He sent villagers in after trebs. Not a good game to be a Viper villager. <laughs> <laughs> GG has been called ACCM, Mr. Tristan, Mr. T90 with a beast performance. Yeah, beast seriously. Performance it was in insane. Game, really. It was insane. Yeah, the guy was unbelievable this game. He just kept coming, right? Like Viper would swat him away with a quick wall here, and then he'd show up there, and it just went back and forth. And I hope he's locked in right now. It certainly seems like it because he can beat Viper today if he continues to play like that. That was an early Civ pick for him. I think in Viper's game planning, he would have expected that that would be a really tough matchup. That was also the home map for ACCM. A Viper now has graveyards and acclivity to go to. Could always go to Marsh Madness, but yeah. that's ACCM's home map. So I expect Viper to try and get a win on the board by switching to one of his home maps you now. You know what I enjoyed the most in the previous game? Try to remind a moment after the first aggression happened, there was a pause between the, uh, in the players. A, the, the a, pause a pause between the action? In the action, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't, re I don't remember. Yeah. It was non-stop action. And now, and now, try and remember, after the first bit of action, 
when we ever looked at ACCM space. Never before. <laughs> when when Bayford did the post at the end of the game, he was probably checking, you know, like, yeah, it's crazy. He dominated. And I, I like it because we rarely make good predictions in this regard. He, We said he need to take the initiative with the Mongols. Yep. He did exactly now, that. Now, I do. we have to say, talking about Viper, because the yep. Mongols can take great initiative. That's great. I know he can quick wall, but that was a clear example of where someone needs to pre-wall. You yeah. know, your he knew his opponent didn't have a dock. He knew it would have to be aggression on land. I saw the scouts before yes, they were there. You know? And it's like some of the quick walls are fine, great, because you had some villagers exposed. But the wood line should never even be a question. There should be, you know, you had a gate, you pre wall it with eight palisades, two houses, and those villagers are always protected. So that's that's something there for Viper. Maybe his overconfidence with his ability to do it last minute uh, hurt him a little bit, and those things can snowball. Yeah, they started, I believe, I don't know if we know the map, but anyway, we're going to see in a moment. I think, I, oh, it's a clivity because I just cheat. <laughs> you just cheat? <laughs> I cheat, and I see now the map is going to be a clivity. <laughs> this map brings huge memories, and now we have an amazing match. I love this matchup. Berber versus Incas is so interesting. I will favorite here Incas because he's insane, but if you play beast mode with Berbers, you have a, uh, a shot here or not? What do you think? Well, I mean, Incas have the options for everyone, right? Incas have cheap units. Incas have a uh, great economy. Incas can beat any Civ in the game. So I do think Incas on paper are the superior civilization here. But if you misstep once against the Berbers, they have the cheap stable units, and those knights can snowball on you, and pikemen, monk that Incas have available might not be enough. Now look at this from Viper. He's going forward, and laming is allowed in this tournament, and eagles are especially good at that, and Viper's eagle is very close, and he's actually pulled away, hoping ACCM doesn't see him, and he is going to try and kill this villager. Now if the boar gets hits, this would help, but Viper in the end realizes it's too close it's to the too TC. Close to the TC. It's yeah. too close to the TC. It's too close to the TC. Well, this is Berbers now, Civilization. As you can see, I mean, they don't have really big economy bonus and Civilization. The only eco bonus, if we can call it that way, is the cheaper knights and... And, and faster camels. villagers. Faster, faster villagers, villagers yeah. that is like, well, you know, not a, like will borrow, but but it's still, it's it matters. But it, it's a good... Civilization to to counter Inca see, if you go one TC. I'm yeah, sorry. all in, all, all in. in. And this right? is and this is a good map for Mem because there's not a ton of gold. Uh, most of the gold is around the outside, and that's like way too mobility. awkward. And mobility. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. Fun. But like, but expanding your eco is not standard here because when you TC the sides, you don't have space for farm. So yeah, I agree. And I think we'll see. We might see something like triple stable against four or five barracks even at some point in Castle Age because of how aggressive they'll both be. This is the POV from ACCM. Already walling a little bit with that house between those trees, but now it's pushing the deers. I mean, the start, uh, you focus on the economy, Tristan. Yep, yep, and Viper did try and lame, right? He could have maybe stolen some stuff there. There was a small thing we didn't really get to see. This is Viper's point of view, uh, where ACCM actually made sure his sheep didn't go anywhere near the eagle, which was quite smart. So Viper sacrificed some deer to, to try and do that. The end, though, you start with the llama as the Incas. You get extra pop space from the houses, so you don't really need to build many. Incas are so breezy, and we're now back to our point of view here on the Observer. But, you know, I'm looking at the, the wood lines. I really like ACCM's base because he can HBF. so easily... HBF? Yeah, he can so easily go for a little, like... Seawall, a little, not a seawall, not like, not like the C, but like the letter C, backward C, a, a circle, an egg, uh, an oval, uh, whatever, a small arena with <laughs> so little effort, and we finished <laughs> earlier, you know? <laughs> you know? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, it. thank you, thank you. No problem, man. No problem. You're welcome. Anyway, he's doing the bar close to the woodlands, man. And uh, mm, the good thing also with the Incas, you need two buildings only. Yeah. Barak and Archie range. That's true. So you are saving, and you have all the units you need from two. While maybe Berbers will have Barak, Stable, Archie range. It's complicated. I mean, mm -hmm. if, Vib if the Viper play Incas perfect, even even if ACM do the same, it's tricky. The last time I saw this matchup, there, there may have been others, but at least casting it was here at NAC. It was Jordan Leary, and the Inca player just had monks for every night, had like 20, 30 Eagles, and also mixed in Pikemen. It is such a deadly combo. So you really, if there's any Civ here, Mem, that needs this to go well in Feudal, 
that needs to get a slight lead, it's Berbers. Because I think if it's even headed towards Castle the Incas are, are a bit better there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, Incas is top three civilization in these kind of maps. Yep. I will say, you know, yep, well, Berbers right has yep. potential, but I wouldn't put that in a top, Agreed. even five. Agreed. You know? Yep. Okay, let's see now. RT range, he spotted, but it's not a surprise for, for ACCM. He knows that he's going to go RT range. He's doing this table. I believe that uh, fast RT range might happen if you are not able to wall in, uh, in Berber's position. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's a big difference being able to, right? Like we said. And so if you can get away with just farming and not needing to go for any skirms or something, it's beautiful. So uh, look at these walls. I mean, this base... I do that. Also horse collar, Tristan. So Yeah, yeah, exactly. So lots of farms will come, whereas Viper's going to have to go for the full wall. So I think... All things considered, I think ACCM's position is... Oh, that... that oh, what a save! He noticed, he noticed, what man. a save! Oh, my God. That was sick. Um, I think his position's pretty nice here, man, for the Berbers. Okay. It's doing a good job here, ACCM. It's so important. I mean, people cannot really imagine how much preparation ACCM has. Mm -hmm. Even if we mention, they don't really probably believe it. Yeah. You know, he, he, this guy, guys, I think he... Eat? Sleep? I'm play. <laughs> You're, probably I mean, You're probably not wrong. I mean, probably not wrong. Yeah. No. I mean, but it's it's so cool though, right? Because he has traveled further than most. Professional. Right? And, and if you're full pro. Yeah, you know? exactly. And and if you're gonna if you're gonna have this be your job, if you're gonna travel across the world, you'd think, you know, when you're not in the position, right? The people at home, you'd think that you would do that. But sometimes, you know, when you're so good, you you kind of feel you can get away with certain things. But not ACCM. ACCM's looking so good. He range. drops the range, as you said, there to go for some skirmishers. So you get, like, you need enough skirms to snipe the spears, but then you get worried about the eagles. So it's this interesting little combination. Viper's basically going to have three units. He's going to have spear, eagle, and archer, and it's just going to be two for ACCM and the skirm and the scout. And that's the issue, Tristan. Look at the amount of army Viper has already with fletching. Yep. You know, with Fletching, the third building is already the blast bit. Well, now the third building for ACCM is that RT range. He will need then a fourth building for to make the, the upgrade as well. And all these matters, is a lot of resources, you know. And also, Incas is saving wood for the houses. I yep. mean, you might do at the end most, more or less the same houses to wall, but if you don't need it, you don't make it. Absolutely. You know? And, and you know, on the flip side of that, right, obviously Viper's been able to invest in so, so much army here and get some hits there with the Spearmen. But Viper is sacrificing some aspects of his economy to do so. He only has three farms. ACCM's going to have like seven or eight at this point. So or more. If Viper's army investment can't do anything because everything's so neat and tidy and walled in there, this could be good for ACCM in the long term. Yeah, I mean, he has quite a lot of farms right now, ACCM. Like a lot of farms. That's how many. Can you click all those farms, Mr. Botkin? That's 11, so it's more than triple his opponent right now. Yep. Yeah, well, now not anymore because he got uh, five, also the berries. The problem is that he has plus one armor for the infantry, plus one attack for the range unit. This it's streaky here. Oh, yep. don't watch, I love but it. But like you, ACCM, he needs to recognize how big of a gift this is and just, just play a simple game. His skirms can sit by the farms. The eagles can never get in close because of the TC fire. You just use the skirms defensively and wait for Castle Age here. This base and what ACCM has done with it has got to be frustrating Viper so much right now. Yeah, and resources are not terrible for uh, ACCM. Would you use the, the, the tower for a stone? Sorry, the stone for a tower? Like, the goal is can't expose for ACCM, yeah. so you will need probably a tower. I think I think the tower comes in in Castle Age when the, if the archers have more range and more problems, okay. right? So that's going to be a nice snipe there from ACCM. Kills the archer. That's our first kill of the game. And he did move out with his skirms on the other side there. Viper going to drop the market. Viper knows. My opponent's eco is probably better than mine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the market, probably sell some of that stone. Viper might be a little surprised, and I'm surprised that the skirms are coming from the right side. I think if they come from home, you're never, you don't have to worry about the eagles. But let's see. Oh, this is good. He's gonna take those archers. He's gonna probably take the spear. You have to be careful. This is a good battle in my beautiful. opinion for ACCM. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It's a good one, he really. He surprises Viper, because yeah. Viper didn't know where to run there. Viper did not expect that. And now the skirms can get right oh, back man. to where we wanted them anyways, right next to the TC. Yeah. Beautiful job from ACCM. But the Viper economy, Viper economy is about to click up. No market abuse, 200 stone. He's on the way to Castle Age. Same population. It's not too far ACCM to go up. So the game is still kind of even 
even, but the problem is that Incas, during that transition, can produce eagles, while Berber says CCM has to wait till Castle Age. Yep, so the mass is real for, for the Viper. The mass is real, but... It w well, the mass will be real, right? It's just two eagles right now. We have the second barracks. That takes a lot of time, man. Yeah. Um, so as long as ACCM clicks up, I think he'll be good. I love this as, as well. We could actually, we should probably switch to his point of view Let's go. and just see him as he tries to find this. Look at him. He knows Viper's trying to evade him here. And unfortunately for him, that scout is weak. He's like, please be a hole. Please be a hole. Or, no, no, please not be a hole. Please don't be a hole. <laughs> he's, looking, <laughs> he's looking ahead to find the wood line. But uh, that, at the end of the day, these two archers won't mean much for Viper. There's yeah. Viper now, and Viper's making eagles, like we said. But I think we should see a third barracks here, honestly. You need to have at least three barracks against two stable uh, production of knights on the other side. Would you go even for a third stable, or is it too much? Because you, you got cheaper knights, so maybe you want to go one to see, really. I would go for the third stable because I don't have faith in my ability to compete in the long term, right? But ACCM can do that. So right now, I, I think... You've, you have confidence that the two stables will be enough, and then you don't want to fall behind an economy. Uh, Viper actually on the note of back to my barracks thing. He's on two barracks because he just wants to go monk defense and TCs. So he's actually going to boo. Well, it's his play style. Yep. He likes to have his economy. To, he feels confident with also quite quite some army. And he's in Castleage. He's in cast. He's gonna drop the TC right away at the back, on the wood, on the goal. He's gonna be safe. This woodland obviously is exposed, a little bit exposed, but with those eagles floating there, eh, those skimmers is not gonna do too much. I... Not gonna do too much. Oh my god. This might be because I had a friend who was a skirmisher once, but I don't like the fact that skirms have moved out there. I think like. Hey, home. Yeah, I think you've gotta know that the eagles are gonna be out there. Now, the eagles are not, act the skirms are not actually gonna benefit you really at all here for a long time but that's a little sloppy for ACCM and he'll lose most of those but you know surprise surprise he's on two stable knights and those knights should be able to push away the eagles not a big deal also because he got before those archers so since that happened that's true doesn't exactly skirmishes at all so yeah. it's fine it's gonna be knights versus eagles knights versus eagles knights are winning yeah in these kind of numbers obviously <gasps> That is typical Viper, dude. Typical Viper to be able to sneak around and find an area. Thank God for ACCM, he has Berbers, though. Because if that's not Berber villagers, those villagers would get picked off a lot faster. My save all. Yeah, yeah. My possible. Save all, of, my save all of them. There's no monks yet, so he's fine. Obviously, he's denying the TC, which is something. You deny the tone center, and then the economy advantage is going to be already for the Viper. He has second TC, third TC in common. Now the Aegis is still there, but the Viper know that those Aegis are going to be gone. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to have to just accept their fate here. Running away would not do too much for him. So, okay, three TCs against just two for now. Viper will gain an eco lead, and now ACCM is kind of on the back foot in terms of how this game's going to flow. We thought. No Eagle Warrior, just two barracks of Eagles would be a problem. But, I mean, Viper's got monks around his base. Viper collected the first relic. This is full macro from Viper. Yeah. Just come kill me. Go ahead. Come kill me. I know your bonuses. I know my bonuses. I think my bonuses are better long term. He's basically saying, come do something about it. And <laughs> that skirm might actually do something about it, sitting on the relic. But I don't think he's going to take it. But let's see. Let's see that, that the skirm is. I think the, I think the monk can actually get away from the skirm, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, not even, it's not even fletching. Yeah, I it's know. It's not even fletching. It's, it's a very weak one. Yeah, okay. it's just so, so funny. I think going light caps and knights is now the way to go. Like, yep. you don't want to go for a 3TC as well, in my opinion, and go for an even boom, because first it's not even boom anymore. Viper is ahead, you know? And Incast in the late game? Uh, you know? Yeah. It's scary. The, the, I mean, they have Eagles, Halves, even Kamayuks, you know? I mean, you have mobility, camel arches and knights, but Incas feel that in this position is going to be faster in Imperial than Berber. Yeah, the eco setup has not yet felt natural for the third TC because the wood count's not there. So th that could be a product of the fact that initially ACCM was sending a lot more to gold so he could make a lot more knights than he has. But w I think the third TC... Yeah, the third TC is going to have to come in because he can still produce yeah. and at the same time, and he doesn't have to really choose one or the other. But I like the light cap upgrade. That's what we were looking for. Uh, Viper, he runs in towards ACCM's base, and now he's going to leave. And he should leave, because there will be more knights here, and there's monks around. 
yeah. then still ACCM patrolling on the front here. But Three relics for ACCM, sorry, Tristan. Wow. He has one and two more what? ammos on the... Take the monastery, Mr. Mr. What? Vodka. And he has the second and now the third. Three relics already. Is this for the ACCM. fastest someone has, like players have collected all the relics, all the relics in, in a standard land yeah. map? 23. You know? That's crazy. There you go. It's still not a single villager down for any of the player. The game very close. With a small advantage, I would say, for the Viper. Yeah. Well, it's not small, it's a little bit bigger than people think. Why? He has five is more, six now, will borrow, and he still have a lot of farming more. Yeah, the really advantage good. is solid. Yeah, so so the problem now is Berbers is what happens when Viper mixes in Pikeman. Killing these Eagles is huge because you could actually consider Genitor or Elite Skirm, which brings us back to saving those Skirms earlier. But, um, you know, Eagle Pikeman becomes a problem when you're just on Knights. And in the uh, in a game we saw from Hart on Acropolis, uh, one of the last three days, uh, Camel Archer was the answer. So I see six on stone for ACCM. That TC was placed directly on a stone, so that is already in his mind. Yeah, let's see what is going to happen. He's now healing those those knights. The game can die slow down a little bit yeah. because they both know that they cannot do damage to, the, to their opponent at this point. Yeah. The army they have, they are probably going to trade evenly and probably they don't want to take the risk. Mm -hmm. so that's why they are booming. Now there's some, some raid you need to go back. Devotion, Will Barrow, another Imperial game. Yeah, it, looks yeah, it could brilliant. be, it could be. Man. I really wonder... Ooh. Like, this could become a full raid game, too, because of how exposed the additional golds and stones are. Because it's all up. Everyone will know that it's it's where those TCs are right now. So uh, I could see a world where large amounts of knights and large amounts of eagles are raiding there. Yeah, well, for now, he's going. Let's take the eagles, because I think he's going to dive in. Botka. He's, do he's, 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 he's diving in. He's going in. But there's a lot of knights now. This may be Quick wall him. for the Viper. Quick wall him. Ooh. Nope. No. I think if rolls are reversed there, we see a gate of some kind. I would delete the farm and you make the gate there, you know. Yeah. But now there's light caps, he's raiding the Viper, he's now raiding the Viper, he's gonna start to lose some villages. Remember that those villages got some armor, extra armor for the blast with Arbrit, so it's more complicated also to raid and take those. He's gonna try to make the palisade gate, but he didn't. Well, this is good damage because it's a lot of villages now either for the Viper. That's really good. Yeah, I, I mean, you had said moments ago that Viper felt like he was going to play defensive because he didn't think he could do damage, and then he moved out with the Eagles, and then he didn't have the army at home. And so good damage there from ACCM, who still hasn't lost a villager, who, who has now sees a target, maybe, of a TC for Viper there outside of his walls, and Knights are following. There's a lot of army coming now from both players. Knight of Light has so many Eagles. The Eagles are only plus one. The Knight is also only plus one. He's going away. He's a little bit scared. 20 army, 25, 10 villages more. Population though, the Viper is still with the lead because also we forgot to say that this is Byzantine's 2.0. So cheap units. Yeah, yeah. So cheap units for Incas. That is important. It's really, really important because they have all the units are cheap. They're forging here. It's going to be able to have a good trade here. ACCM doesn't look like so great, but military numbers is starting to be a scary amount of knights, Tristan. Agreed, agreed. Now I wonder where this castle goes because on one hand, you always want to make castle on a hill. But the hill is going to be towards the middle. ACCM really piling on the pressure here. I think he's got to leave, though, man. Yeah. There's too many eagles. Yeah, man. But uh -oh. he does snipe some monks in there. Okay, he has to be careful. He got also devotion, remember. I want to cast it forward. I mean, I don't know if he can. Ooh. He converted the knight. There's so many knights still. How important Why? will be now plus two attack or plus two armor for I'm the I'm really knights. surprised Viper's not going pikeman. It, it's just it's so stubborn, and ACCM has completely lured him away. Viper was on patrol, and 10 of the Eagles said, see you later, and went back home. And that is not what you want. Viper is, is maybe macroing elsewhere. He's distracted, and in a panic, clicks pikeman. But if you don't have the Eagles with the pikeman, even the knights alone could do it. Yeah, but now the castle has to be forward. You have killed a lot. You have all the army presence here. Now ACCM is going to take so many units. Bill is number ahead for the Viper, but army number is not ahead anymore. ACCM is going to take a good battle or not? That's a good not battle. A, yeah, he's under the TC. So he's going back again and he's coming. He's coming with a forward castle. He's not that more forward. It, Matt, Matt, but these, there's three production buildings there. You can't be okay. that crazy. I get the energy. You can't be that crazy because you don't know what's going to happen. But now Viper needs walls because he's making a castle to deny this castle and his army is completely gone. Yeah, but you need to go. You need to go. You need to go. Go. Don't let him make the castle ACCM because if he's doing the castle, it's going to be okay. It's going to be about one or not. I think both castles are going to be up. Yeah, Tristan. yeah, I think so. But one castle is next to Viper's economy and the other one is not next to ACCM's economy. 
Tommy, so he's going to be completely fine with that. And then the castle that Viper is making, it, it can help awesome. him in some ways, but ultimately, it's not going to change things like Camel Archers could maybe change things for ACCM. But I don't know, man. Like, the Pikeman number's so Ooh, low no, that maybe, maybe we won't even see the pikemen be an issue here for these knights. Yeah, but, but Viper see that this castle is a problem. He's going Peta, he's going Rams, he's going to go wild to take this castle down. So huh. I need to I, see here a, a mangrove from ACCM, something to prevent that that castle is Well, down. no, this is like this is like castle next to castle 101. Everyone goes for petards here. I'm shocked that ACCM is not doing so. Like, I guess it's because of Camel Archer production, but it really felt like that'd be a petard v petard battle there. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. You know, Viper's got a 20 villager lead. He's really been able to soak up tons of pressure here. But, I, I but mean, it's, this it's is really this awkward is to play awkward. in his position right now. And this cast in this. Why? ACCM killed 11 villages, and then Viper is 20 villages ahead. What is this macro? What is this macro by the snake? Like, he's 20 villages more, he lost 11, so basically it will be 30 villages ahead, yep. you know? And still, he's raiding a lot here. Let's see, because those. The knights, are, the knights are wrecking villagers quickly. They've got full attack here. And yeah. there were 10 pikes for Viper there. We missed it. They just got completely slaughtered. The knights will beat pikes 1v1 with these upgrades and with the mass we're looking at. And, you know, you, you have the villagers, man, but how many of the villagers are actually working right now if you're Viper? How many of them are on the resources you want? Not, not really 20 villages. Not it's, 20 villages uh, ahead anymore. Yep. Not 20 villages, but that castle is about Viper, to be Viper down. trapped. Viper yeah. trapped. Viper trapped all those knights there. We will need a replay on that. That yeah. was a beautiful, beautiful gate, and he gets away. But Viper killed a lot of knights, and man, if you can't make camel archers, how are you gonna deal with the pikes? Yeah, but the now you need the down. castle, and now he's doing another castle, and ACCM is on the way to Imperial. He's on the way to Imperial with less population, but he's up, he will get the upgrade. But it's insane, it's crazy. 20 villas skill, you are still ahead with 15 villas, and population, like 30 population more. It's what beautiful. is this Incas, man? It's beautiful. This Incas civilization, but then, the timing, the momentum is for ACCM with that castle on top of that hill. Yep. I would chat, Bresser, Chemistry, all the upgrades, but you need more than one castle. Incas is going to flood down. I, I think that something that so few players do here could could give ACCM such a good spot to win this game. And you, obviously you're going Camel Archers now, but you actually plan around <laughs> going for hand cannons. How he's going up to Imperial. Yeah. <laughs> He's done. He's up to Imperial Viper. I mean, like, but but hear me out, right? Camel Archer, you're producing out of one castle, and the way the stones are positioned on this map, it's really hard to find more. It's just two tiles at a time. So I think you could upgrade these, but I don't think you build your future around Camel Archers here. I actually think you want to go mix of knights and hand cannons. And if you do that, and Viper's full pikemen and eagle, hand cannons are actually better against pikemen and eagle anyways than camel archers are. We forget a lot of time hand cannon is for this civilization. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Everyone man. forgets it. And it's a big deal here. I think he's going to see going camel archers because they're so mobile, because he can make them now, and there's, there's reasons for that. That's not a bad thing, but it is something I think ACCM needs to be thinking about. Because if he is up against eagles and pikemen, just like when it just knights can't work, just camel archers can't work either. Okay, uh, tour cabrit is done. Kasva, is it's a good joke or is an illy joke? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got infected, man. Well, it, can, it confused <laughs> me for a second when I see <laughs> I see the joke now. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see now. It's an illy joke, and then okay. 110 village, 123, 18 army, 48. It's gonna be an imperial in a moment. Then archery ranges will be great. Also, he will need thumbbrain. Okay. Also, think about where you're going to place the castles. Everyone wants to place these on the hill, but then your main eco is super exposed. Like, the hills here don't protect yeah. stones and golds. It's really awkward. I think Viper is going to try and, and take advantage of that now. I like the outposting from ACCM, so that would be spotted. But look at Viper. He's leaving his base, and he's going to loop units around to potentially damage ACCM. No, he gets all over. No chemistry for ACCM. Yeah. No. He's doing there it now. is. Yeah. He's doing now, but... Look at the amount of eagles he has. This is the problem, you know. 33 eagles. He got eight camel archers. You need more. You definitely need more because now those eagles are also gonna can raid all over. He can have a castle. Where to do the castle? Maybe in the same spot. Viper you know the castle. Um, I, I think you need your castle in your base <laughs> to avoid <laughs> the raiding. Right? It needs yeah. to be next to your biggest area of farming eco. And man, what a sick job from Viper. I mean, I know there's some level of greed at times here, but he has just soaked up so much pressure. He has made so much eco. He's expanded somehow, and he's got ridiculous military numbers. This guy's almost pop capped, and he was under so much pressure like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, it, it's absolutely crazy. 150 population. is still 
still solid. The problem is that Incas is easier to get into the 200. He's ready. He got some knights at home. He's gonna be Cavaliers. Honestly, Cavaliers, if you get a decent amount with they can kill cheaper, the Eagles. Yeah. No, they take it. Yep. You know, Cavaliers and Camel Arches is a great no, it's an amazing combination. But look at those Eagles <laughs> destroying. Yeah, yep. yeah, Cavalier can do it. And then it's just hand cannons, right? That's the unit that ACCM needs. 20-30 Cavalier, 20-30 hand cannons. It would force the Incas into something beyond infantry, which will obviously takes some time. But you can see now what the Eagle Raids have done. They've made ACCM extremely paranoid and a great job from Viper to, to send random units to the sides. Right there, he's got some Eagles. Then All further over. down along the left, he's got an Eagle yeah. killing Bills, actually, on that left edge of the map. That Eagle still, and that's just that one extra area that Viper's able to focus on. And these things pay off so massively for him. Yeah, I mean, how many bullets has killed that eagle, Oli? Probably, I, I'm gonna guess ten. Can we check seven. Seven already. And it'll eight. be. It's gonna be. Soon. It's yeah. gonna be. It's gonna be. You know, it's gonna be probably even more. And he doesn't notice. Population is dropping dramatically. And even if ACM is doing, in my opinion, a really great game, what we can talk about the Viper game here? Amazing game from the Viper. His comfort zone. You got my economy going, I'm doing army constantly, you're getting me some rating, but even like that, I'm still ahead. Yep, yep, really yeah, and he's everywhere. He, he pushed forward, he took some, he took the trebs in the middle, so ACCM can't push. Everywhere you look, there's a red unit. And ACCM's probably thinking, like, I played like a great game here. I was doing so much damage. I expanded with the time, but now suddenly Viper's all over me. And I was the one pressuring him. It's truly unbelievable what Viper's doing right now. Yeah, amazing job. Amazing job by the Viper. Let's see if ACCM is going to be able to somehow hold. Finally, the units that T90 was demanding so hard are there on the field. Yep. 11 and 13 more in the queue, hand cannoneers. Um, I don't know. Is this going to be a note? He's still on 113 village, but to do something with Berbers in this situation, you need more than 30 points. Yeah, he's still in stabilized mode. So he needs yeah. to he needs to still defend from these raids, get to a about 30 hand cannons and then in this time Viper in theory should be switching to skirms we'll see if he ends up doing that so um, it looks so rough he's down 40 villagers he he's constantly got eagles in his base but there are the hand cannons now which is the one thing that Viper really doesn't have an answer to at the moment it, it feels that this happening when we were talking if you play with both civilizations perfect or at the maximum really well yep. still Incas is in favor Incas are in favor and it's yep. happening yep. this because what mistakes has done ACCM not many, yeah, not many mistakes. Really good play, really good play for the Viper, and then the player with the civilization that has a small, small advantage but, get in there. But it's not, honestly, it's not just that, too. I, yeah, I yeah. really think Viper has an ability to soak up pressure and turn it around like a lot of other players don't, which is why it looked so bleak okay. for him at times, and then he knew in this moment that he might be able to force some fights, but the, the hand okay. cannons are shredding. Okay, this battle, the okay, this battle, shredding. this, this battle, is horrible this battle, for Viper. The Viper is losing a lot, look at the army numbers. Yes, he got the economy lead, but where's the Eagles, Tristan? Yeah, and look at him sell. He just sold a thousand food Ooh. and a thousand wood, and that's gonna bring him back gold because he needs it after that fight. Check the KD. Also there, also well, you need to make no more villains and get obviously over a hundred villains again, but military numbers drop it dramatically for the snake now. And it's the time to push. Yeah, try to go in and raid and kill so many villains as well. And and now ACCM can start to he has the main hand cannon force and he can start to move the cavalier and raid different areas. Beautiful hold from ACCM and maybe either a lack of patience from Viper or maybe a feeling that he could just, even though it's like kind of on paper a bad fight, sometimes you think, I have the numbers, and you just, you, you do exactly it, this. It's gonna but happen this again, it's gonna happen it, again. He can't Tristan. kill this. This is okay. this just completely hard counters his army. Ooh, look how he put the hand cannon is, the Cavaliers in front, and the Eagles are going to disappear one more time. I don't know, he's plus six Eagles elite. Cavaliers are coming, the Viper is still now taking this battle. I My mean, goodness. he's got the eco. We oh, established man. it before. He's got the eco to make more, and that is why he's taking these fights. The Treb is down. The hand cannon number is dwindling. And while Viper's pop is only 145 now, yeah, ACCM's ACCM. is still 110. Yeah, that's the thing here. And he surrounded him with castles all over. Incredible game. Amazing game by both players. And, well, this I, game Viper, is so wild. But, okay, so that's like, what, three fights that Viper is forced into hand cannons now? He might be thinking that ACCM runs out of gold. I, I still think in these instances, if you can, man, it, normally you only see it when they're fully popcapped. But Viper's got to consider Skirmisher. It is cheaper for the Incas to make each Skirm. Uh, you know, those range upgrades are really helpful for some of the castles, right? 
Yeah. But well, he's missing all the upgrades for the range units. Exactly. And now he's coming again. Military numbers are still similar. Yep. ACCM, if you guys think that ACCM is going to resign with 1,200 score behind, you are dreaming. <laughs> you are absolutely <laughs> dreaming. The hand cannon is out there. The Cavaliers are going to try to pick up more Velis. He need definitely to kill more Velis because with this 120 Velis and cheaper uh, army, the I think can spin it, can it spam forever. Yeah, it, it's tough though. I think ACCM was just shown that if he doesn't have enough Cavalier in front, his army can actually die. And that's, Viper's like, screw your tech switch. I, I know Eagles shouldn't fight hand cannons, but I have enough of them I could maybe get a surround. Nice. This is beautiful from Viper. He gets all that gold from ACCM. He will open up some of that base from ACCM. Nice defense there. But ACCM needs to continue this bush, man. The fact that he has to react to a Trebs in the south of his own base right now is really tricky. Yeah, well, he lost the castle. He's gonna kill probably those Trebs. He got some Cavaliers there, but let's focus in the middle. He's gonna be able to kill more. Maybe taking the wow. relics that are there and you get the five this relics. Is, this is fun. Look at Viper on the left side of ACCM's base. He said th there were eagles. They're about to come onto your screen. Those eagles could have gone against the hand cannons again, but they're now in on the left side. There's like 40 of them running in. And then Viper's eco is exposed Come as well. Out. Uh, yeah, it's just like both players are extremely exposed at home right now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but he's doing even Kamayus. And now, again, a hundred villages. It's still the left part of the map, completely to nine o'clock. It's free. Yeah, and ACCM, have a lot of resources. ACCM does not have gold. Yeah. He, he's got, I don't know where he's got the three on gold, but he doesn't have the gold in the south anymore. And Viper's all over that. And those other side. Oh. Okay, there we go. He walled it. <laughs> Those areas okay. are so tricky right nah, now. But, but I think now this might be the game. It's just raiding too many. Too many villains down. Now he's still trying to go with the push, but he's not an oath in front. He's doing a tone center. Yeah, extra TC, but I don't know. Can we put Fog of War for ACCM if he has to explore even the left? Arc? He has to explore all the map. Yeah, and he just can't move there. He can't, yeah, he, exactly. He can't go there because there's always going to be an eagle. There's always going to be a yeah. Kamayuk. I mean, Viper hasn't even gone for help this game. It's crazy. Viper says... Vi Viper's like, uh, someone says, hey, Viper, what counter this? And he's like, eagle. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is. He's just going to make eagle the entire game. He well, just said he just said yes. <laughs> they are so strong. He's plus six. I mean, he's doing a few Kamayus. He's now 79 villages. ACCM keeps trying. He's a warrior. He has a crazy spirit. Oh, man. And, so, uh, it's looking so rough now. He's down to rough. 78 yeah, bills, yeah. man. 78 bills. He doesn't have discounts on anything but his stable units. And but, still only 18 on food. And... That, that's really the army that's keeping ACCM in this game. In this game yeah. And I mean, I know it's it's guns versus a dude with a stick, but the dudes with the sticks do a lot of damage anyways here, Bem, and I think the hand cannons will just simply die. Yeah, Echo KD is brutal, as you guys can see. It's more than double the kills from the Viper. That's what this makes this, well, double the village. Yeah. Double the village and his opponent, basically. And even if ACCM usually want to wait for the 5K, I think now could be exception. Yep, I, I, I agree. Or, uh, or so big, you right? said what? 5K, five when he's 5K score. score down, he okay. resigns. All right, okay. that's going to be harder this game for you, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose the bet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Cavaliers and Cannoneers, their relics is going to take them back or not. He's still expanding, though. I think he's sending more villains to the to the 9 o'clock area. Yeah, there you go. He is Gold Golden Stone, Stone. Yep. you can see. And he'll kill the traps. Okay. Don't kill the traps. Your 5k bet might, might oh. look a little bit better because... Oh, he's shot in the hand here with the, with the tray, which is taking out the relic. It's still nice. He's raiding all the time. Yeah, yeah. Viper's all not going to stop. Viper's got... Viper has collected almost 20,000 more resources, right? And, and especially over the last 10 minutes here, his eco lead has been insane. And he's got 50 eagles. He, he's always checking the gold. He finds that gold. That's That will lead the losses. Just hold yeah. the map. He's, he's, he's got the, map. the whole map control. Just hold the map control here. What a great just game. Just hold the map control. The Viper is moving his head. He's usually not doing his leg. Like, uh, he's the score. doing another tone center. Look there. at the score. The ACCM score refuses to resign. Okay. 120 pop down, but this guy, as as they put on the uh, on the profile for him, has a fighting spirit. Sticking back they the say. relics. It's taking back <laughs> the relics. It's still, it's still rebooming in the corner now. <laughs> you know, I mean, see, make a quick wall. Make a wall, man. If you really want to keep trying. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man, okay! Uh, it, it can be defeated if he's still like this. I, I mean, ACCM fights so long, dude. He flew a long way here, all right? Let him let him fight. I know. I, I'm still looking at the score. <laughs> Last time it was right when it had the 5K difference, just like when you called it. 
Let's he finally resigned. Now. Close to 4K now. Yeah, Close yeah. Close to 4K. Let the chat knowledge. 4K, remember? <laughs> okay. We love to chat. Okay. Uh, and I think the GG must have been called here. Finally, he calls the GG. Uh, 330 eagles created by Viper in that game. That is not normal. That is not normal. That is insane. That does not feel like a real stat. A unit's supposed to be expensive, and Viper's like, nope. These are freebies for me, baby. Holy crap. Only the Incas with their discount on food units right now could do that. Yeah. I I incredible, incredible. Well, that also talk how good uh, ACCM played. He stand a little bit because he tried, you know, he, he tried, but it's feel that it's so complicated to kill Incas if he's being played. Uh, oh, smoke break, smoke you know. break, smoke okay. break. Oh, oh. Here we let's go. Let's okay, let's, let's see. see. Okay, timer has started. ACCM. But he go petitioned go. for five minutes. Here, folks. But go He's failing, man. Go quick, man. Hey, he petitioned for a five-minute break okay, right man. before we started this event. Okay, they're lined up. <laughs> they are lined up and waiting for him. That is Viper. I know. He's going Viper. Go. I don't think I'm, Viper. I'm oh, Viper. there we go. There we go. There we go. I don't think Viper needs a smoke break. What's and CCM? I don't. I, I. I mean, his. He said that he could do. He could smoke. He could, he petitioned for one minute, and then we called him out on that, and then he moved it up to two. But he's got five. Here we got Leary, and we got Hart on the left. We've got Dalton and Tato on the other side there, on the far side. Really happy that some of these these players Our cleaned opponent. off their desks. There was like 25 cans <laughs> yesterday. They are opponents. Not hard today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the dog is looking for ACCM. Well, he's telling, come on, you, yep. you have time. Uh, probably looking for Viper, to be honest. Unfortunately, the doggo doesn't have the greatest eyesight, so it's going back to where Dad was last. Great. And uh, I know what you're thinking. We are giving commentary on a break here. Oh, and there he goes. Go, there he goes. Let's go. All right, all right. There he goes. He lost time. He had to stop at the bathroom, and we got uh, three minutes and 40 <laughs> seconds. For ACCM to get his smoke break in, and he knows it. So he is on the way, folks. That is what we all waited for. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what ends up happening once he's nice and relaxed. But he is down 2-1 against the Viper. But uh, what do you think of the series so far? Amazing series. I mean, they're playing really well. I love to say the meme Titanic. No Titanics at yep. all. Yep. Good play, you know. Using their, their civilization at the maximum. Because, I mean, you can win with any civilization against anyone. Mm -hmm. But if you play your best civilization like they are doing, it makes it harder to happen. Yeah. And it happened with the Mongols. He got the initiative. And now happening with, with the Incas. Mm -hmm. He was having always a great echo, but not being greedy. Because we know that sometimes Viper go with the, with the economy, not the North Army this time, was having army all the time. You know? Yeah. I mean, both plays went to Imp. Both plays went to the Imperial Age. Oh, here's a replay. Here's a replay. Look at the form from ACCM. You don't see a lot of true athletes smile as they sprint, but... That man, he is so good. He can afford to do it. And, uh, I mean, we got to keep tabs on him. He's going to be coming back. Can we have the timer on this? Is that too hard? I, I'm really concerned here. They, they want to do they want to put the timer. At a nilly event, you, know? you better not go past five minutes, let me tell you. Warnings will just he, – he's got a little yellow flag, and he throws it. There you go. There we go. Okay, so we're halfway. People he's don't good. know how cold is here. It's very cold. Coin. Well, that actually helps him, right? Because yeah. if he wants to continue to stay out there – his body freezes, so he just runs yeah. back inside. So I think that's probably Helping good for with him. the timer. And we have in the background the possible that ACCM is going oh, okay. to join. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. they'll be, like, right between us here. Uh, Mars Madness is going to be probably the next one, or you can pick whatever, because now ACCM need to win both. Doesn't matter. Yep, yep. yep. Um, you know, I think but you... But for the Bullholz, maybe? Yeah, yeah. It does, it does help to, to get an extra win on Viper, absolutely. I think you go Marsh Madness. Um, I think his, his higher Civ was picked for it, um, and it's probably going to be Byzantines. Uh, Mayans and Armenians and Byzantines, none of those civs excite me for dry graveyards, in all honesty. Um, I could see Mayans being a choice, or Armenians, though. And Oh, ACCM, we missed it. We missed it. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's back. He's and back. What was that smoke? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm not a smoker, but what is that? Well, that was about, that was about two <laughs> minutes, which is what he said he needed. Okay. So that's a man of his word right okay. there. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking about the civilizations, too. And maybe he's going to pick Armenians in Mars Madness. Mm. And then Byzantines in graveyard? Because you don't like Mayans, you said. Well, Mayans are still Mayans, right? Actually, actually, I like Armenians on dry, dry graveyards because of being able to get, like, pikemen so early. And the relics as well. Yeah, the relics, you're going to have, you have the... Um, the extra one also. You have the, uh, the, the, the warrior priest. The warrior priest. And you have pikemen and halb, and 
Yeah, so I actually think it will be better to have Armenians on dry graveyards, at least compared to his other options, right? Okay, but do you prefer still uh, Viper Civilization? Yes. You do? Yeah, I think... I Both think maps? Mm, I, I think both maps. I think Malians versus Byzantines would be pretty close on Marsh Madness. I think Romans against Armenians. Well, actually, I think it's pretty close as well. It's yeah, close, right? but I think like Vipers and more typical civs. Um, we've seen Malians do really well on hybrid maps. We've seen Romans do really well on graveyard. But you, so. don't, you, don't do you don't feel he's gonna pick his last? He's th the third pick. Like his yeah, last he could. Is pretty crazy. He yeah. could. I think if you're expecting your opponent to go Pike defense at some point, though. Having the Romans could be sick yeah. for like the Scorpions and the Long Swords, and the five percent greater efficiency all the time for Romans is really nice. But then again, the fastest farms at the game belong to the Slavs, and we know Viper likes to boom. Well, so is Slav cheaper siege as well? I mean, it's yeah, yeah. It's They're pretty, pretty comparable actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're it, pretty comparable as far as like our forty-four civs go. Uh, Slavs and Romans are pretty similar picks. Do we know the map? Uh, they told you. They told us that they were gonna tell that, but I don't see. I know it. you. you <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. Mem man. Mem's it's subtly, spoken to, you know? Mem subtly uh, reminding. <laughs> before the series, <laughs> he was like, map. "Hey, T90 is like, we're gonna get told the map so we but can speculate." But we've already speculated. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah. It's good. It's I can good. tell you what it's gonna be. It's gonna be Marsh Madness. Okay. So. Okay. What do you have to say about Marsh Madness, Mem? I like it. I mean, I don't know if I miss Land Madness, like epic map, but it's true that we have seen in many tournaments, so maybe a, a new one is also refreshing, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one also, it, it integrates, uh, yeah, uh, the, this different one with the uh, with the fish, but at the end might be also potential aggression on the land, very similar to the Land Madness. Yep. So it's a cool map. Okay, yeah. I mean, so you can't build on the rocky terrain that's next to the wood lines, yep. and that can make uh, booming really awkward. So I wouldn't expect a lot of TCs and whatnot. You have the water aspect, and while the water does loop through the middle, that's very, very rare. So the expectation here is we're going to see the flexibility the players used on the water. The Byzantines aren't quite as flexible, but they do have the stronger fire ships, and then the extra HP on their buildings, and uh, their, that also applies to their docks. Makes them pretty strong, as well as the vision mem but with the town watch and town patrol being free. The, the vision makes that it's kind of hard to surprise them. Yeah. Like, in feudal, maybe. In castle, impossible. Yeah. Like, absolutely. town patrol, you know, you're not going to surprise them. But what about Malians then? Yeah, I mean, in Malians, as we've got Viper's point of view here, we'll put Malians on screen. I definitely didn't misclick the <laughs> button here, guys. This was <laughs> intended to see Viper's point of view. Beautiful job from Viper, dropping a dog, pushing in a deer. Wow, this is, it's incredible. But uh, anyways, on Viper's civilization, uh, we've got the, the wood discount. And the wood discount is really the big thing here. And it's not something that you really necessarily factor into your builds, but it's, it's like every time you go to build a building, you suddenly can, right? <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh, I can make this. I can you maybe make an extra dock eventually, maybe you know rush up certain things. And I think like, Faster university is helpful at times, but the villagers dropping off more gold also really helpful. It just, it feels to me like the Byzantines have the cheap counter units and the strength and the vision, but the Malians really have the flexibility. So Viper is going to have the potential to really put the pressure on here. Yeah, let's see how ACCM is doing right now with his POV. He's just starting to go to explore his opponent. The dock is already uh, done, I believe, at the back. And... Um, he found Viper. There you go. He yep. found it already. He sees Viper. They're going to scout fight here. And uh, it would make sense for ACCM. If you're in a 50-50 here, you've found your opponent. You'll take that fight. You'll never leave. But for Viper, you don't want to lose that fight and never find your opponent. But in the end, they both separate. And, and ACCM is being annoying, attacking the Lumber Camp, just trying to tempt Viper to bring a villager over. And the fish here, Tristan, is kind of like a bonus, no? Because how far they are, you we might see also some land aggression the same way, uh -huh. used with a boost on the Echo. Obviously, you probably will need to make some Cali because you don't want to get surprised and lose your fish. Yep. But that's it. At this least that you sneak a, a dog forward. This is back to what I said. See, ACCM. Oh, wow, Viper got the hit. How did he do that? Well, now ACCM doesn't want to fight and ACCM will run away. Now, the thing about the water here, Mem, that I think people need to know is, yeah, there's quite a bit of fish, uh, but it takes a long time to get your ships over to the enemy. And so what players are doing is they'll oftentimes just add one fire in defense, uh, like, let's say a minute after feudal, and then by the time the offensive fire galley gets to their base, they have one in defense, and then they're completely fine. So you are right. It's more of a land map than a water map. But like mid-feudal, like let's say someone gets a lead on land, 
your play if you get a lead on land sometimes is to then add onto water because they're not thinking about that anymore and that's when you can win the water yeah well, let's see if he's gonna what is gonna happen for now we see how the viper is going not not too three militias already he's gonna try to go aggressive but his opponent has spotted yeah he knows that he's coming but the snake if we go to his point of view pov don't think he knows that we're his opponent yeah, yeah, there's this fog of war here. That's ACCMs. We'll see Vipers here in a second. Yep. And yeah, he has absolutely no clue. Viper spent a lot of his time at home pushing in deer and uh, sacrificed scouting intel. And we saw a game. Sorry to bring this up if he's over there listening. But we saw a game from Andy earlier where he didn't scout. He ran right into his opponent's TC. And that was unfortunately the end of the road for him. So I, I would expect Viper is going to be able to see some things before that. But he's going for a strategy that his opponent knows is coming. And he doesn't know where to send it necessarily right now. Yeah, but he's having the lack of the champion, you know. And the lack of the champion is that he's now sending those militias to the right place. He's going to take the spear and he's going to be able to take a good fight here with the men at arms. Already remember, Estra Pierce armor. Mm -hmm. Estra Pierce armor and Archie range is already up. Let's see what he's going to be able to do because his skirmishes are coming, but skirmishes are not a big threat to those men at arms. Yeah, I really, I really like the extra Pierce armor here when you're expecting a range opening. It's so good. Those things are going to stay alive. And what it does is it gives you time and control. And Viper's gone for something a little bit unique. He's gone for the mill on the berries. You don't normally see the mill on the berries so early. I think that's because of the Malian flexibility. Yeah. But he also has delayed the archer range. So he, he figures whatever ACCM is making is not a problem for him. But it's very common, man. Like, every time you see man-at-arms, there's almost always an archer range follow-up. Yeah. We have a statistics there. Good to take in consideration, right? 4-1 on this map, the most peak civilization in, in this map. So that's uh, talk very good about this great save. He's doing uh, another dog there. Interesting. Why is he doing another dog? When he see that the men arms are coming, okay. Well, it's actually, if he knows that Viper doesn't have a range coming up, that's actually not a bad call. Um, you're already ahead on land. But he knows. And No, he, he doesn't. Well, yeah. he might have scouted it, in all honesty. No, but he has scouted before. Yeah, he yeah, didn't yeah. scout since, yeah. since then because he's now with the aggression, you know. He, he has no clue what he did at home. We know because we have the, the full vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. time is still going. Got to be careful. And uh, the scout is going back a, a little bit. Uh, that Viper is still without uh, RT range. No, he has skirms now coming. So he yeah, just yeah. delayed it a little bit. There but but that's like, we talk about these tiny little details and getting an edge. And Viper's collected a little bit more food and will collect a little bit more food and had the mill up faster. So maybe his farming, like that type of stuff adds up in terms of the res collected and eventual castle age time. But going skirms against Byzantines who have much cheaper skirms, who already been making skirms, that can be a little complicated. So Viper's going to need to make sure he finds the right fights here. Yeah, he's going to take the scout from AZCN. <laughs> Crazy that he noticed, you know, that there. And now Blastmid. Okay. Fletching is kicking in faster. And AZCM has a civilization that now is in his comfort zone. Byzantine Agreed. here start to shine and shine. You can spam army and you're gonna still probably be ahead because those units are so cheap and you want to put the pressure here against the Malians. Absolutely, I agree with you and Viper. He's gonna be bringing these men at arms home. I would say that this has been worth it. He didn't kill anything, but to me, he, he was able to buy himself a lot of time and he'll have Fletching himself and wouldn't you know it, man at arms still alive. Viper with six skirms. It's about six skirms in the army from ACCM. And Viper, ooh, actually not and maybe maybe choosing now uh, to to use his skirms in defense. ACCM lost his scout mem, so he can't scout any future moves. But he was probably expecting this one. Yeah, he's going away now with those skirmishes. He's going to have the armor as well. He's trying to explore, and he passed through those galleys, or not? No, 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 he didn't. He's going. Go he's going to go back. I think he bit. just he yeah, just yeah, yeah. he clicked it. Yeah, yeah, he clicked it, and it's patrolling back. That's yeah. actually a pretty big deal if he doesn't realize. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, it's it's kind of a wasted trip. Oh, he's actually bringing his fires to the middle right now. Oh, but one thing that is an important advantage for ACCM, look how many fish he has. Oh, yeah, it's up to seven. seven. Oh, already. that's that's nice. That's really seven. nice. Seven. He's more than double right now than the Viper. It's still resources collected and resources in the bank right now for the Viper. is scary. He did the market and he's going up. Yeah, it's interesting. Viper got Wheelbarrow as well. You don't normally see that on a map that incorporates fish. I'm not sure how helpful that is on that many farms. But it certainly is a tech that does help you in the long term. But we will borrow, include, and look at the resources. Yeah, it is. Like you're right. It's crazy. Yep. It's this is really a beautiful crazy. build from it's Viper. It's up. Yep. And Vi Viper lost one unit this game.
<laughs> what? <laughs> he lost one unit this game. I think it was the skirmisher. I mean, I mean, if he's winning the series, we have to focus in the interview in the macro. What is the macro yeah. from the Viper in the whole series? Not all in this game, right? Has I, been on point. Uh, I'm still, I'm still not the biggest fan of the whole two fires in the middle thing. Like ACCM's never going to run into that, and that tells ACCM that Viper doesn't have the fires coming towards him, and Viper only made those two fires. So Viper's got to completely like neglect water here and he will probably lose all of his fishing ships. Yeah. Okay, let's see through that he has three only. Then the, the seven as we say. Okay, resources for ACCM. He's there with the galleys and now he can take it. Yep. But he's already doing horse collar. Scale by the number. It's true that seems he doesn't invest a lot. <laughs> it's not a big it's not a big thing for the Yeah, Viper. I'm laughing because Viper saw that and he clicked his fishing ship far away. If he's lucky he can actually take all three of these fires away. Okay, well, the patrol will continue. Yeah, in the end, yeah. Viper will be in trouble. But this is part of Viper's plan. And ACCM, he should now fish like a madman. Because this is clearly Viper just giving up water. Yep. So this is where you, you do what he's doing. You make the third dock. You go up to, like, 12 fishing ships, man. And if you can hold, your eco is going to be ridiculous. Oh, let's see if he's going to hold. But for now, he's losing one Valir. One Valir, because those men at times are still alive, surprisingly. And he's still maybe going to take another. Maybe going to take another. No, he will save it. <laughs> this is Skimmers is as well here. Double stable. Is that the second stable? I believe. Oh, it's the first one. Uh, I think it's no, the no, first it's stable. the first one. Yep. First stable here. So similar to the Plasmid, you know? It's interesting. ACCM is making more skirmishers. I, I'm not sure if I like that. If Viper's going to be going Knights. Viper's got double stable here. He will open with Knights. He opens with a Monastery. Surprise, surprise. And Viper could maybe kill another villager here with the Skirms and the Man at Arms. And the Man at Arm attack did more right before Castle Age than it ever did in the Feudal Age. Yeah. Well, he's also remembering Castle Age plus two Pierce Armor. So those Skirms are not going to do e anything at all. And now he's sending that villager oh, that he's going to lose. No, Viper oh. did not. Yeah, okay. Viper, Viper a little distracted there. It could okay. have been worse for ACCM. Going back, Castle Age 30 seconds. Population is still ACCM ahead because basically of the fish, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, well, Billis is still one way ahead. Okay. Viper's fires are patrolling in, though, in the north. So this, there's so much happening. ACCM needs to defend. It's hard to wall this map. We've got the quick walls coming down. He's got to protect the gold first and foremost. He he, he got the small palisades down, and there we go. There's the fires coming in. The defense could Focus be there the for goal. ACCM, Focus but, the but yes. oh. Viper broke through the palisade, and Viper's taken ACCM completely off of gold. That is going to be really difficult at this time to make camels and monks in defense. Yeah, well, he's doing a skill bar and armor, gill nets already, but how you do, as you mentioned, how you do now the gold, he has zero. Yeah. He has only 40 gold here. I don't know if he has even you know, resources to sell and get some gold. The camel, the good thing is the camels are very, very cheap. But uh, one thing is cheap, and uh, another is that you don't have anything, right? Yeah, and there's no upgrades, uh, too. If there's no, like, look at Viper there. He, he kills the scouts, he kills the skirmishers. This is snowballing hard for Viper against ACCM. And honestly, it feel like a really good position to go double Monastery Monks, because your opponent's only going to have Camel. So yep. lots of monks would actually be really helpful here for Viper. Yeah, let's see. Might do the, the monastery already. Might have one monastery for sure. He's doing He's a got one. Still. There you yep. go. He got one. He's mining a stone. He's mining gold with that main tone center. Uh, and uh, second is stable, but it's still... Well, ACCM is stabilized. And he's still ahead in the in the village number. In total, remember, because he has the fish. 38 village, 42 his opponent. But uh, two tone centers for the Viper. Ooh. Ooh, there's two arches. Look at the distraction. With two arches, he forced 10 villains to go away. But the battle, the big battle, is still under the TC here. It's those camels and nodes. Seems like no, the Viper is microing. Every single unit is going away now because it's starting to be so many camels. Three standing, he should go back. The monks are also close to convert. And he's coming with his own monks as well. Yep. I don't know who this has the advantage. It looks like in the land, Viper has the advantage. Yeah, I think so. And it's just like he's clearly controlling the pace of the game. Like ACCM, with the exception of those two archers, that was well played. He's always reacting to Viper. And so I brought it up before. I think if Viper has monks with his knight oh. army as he gets a conversion there, Viper is not going to have to be scared of those camels. And there's no scouts out in the field anymore. There's no skirms, really. But then again, Viper just converted with that monk. So ACCM wants an engagement, and now he's going to hear another wall low. Not a good feeling to have to give up another camel here, but still hoping to take camel on night engagements. And uh, man, there's so many weak units here, man. Yeah. This is pretty bad, pretty bad for all the units out here. But I think 
ACCM is gets the clear. He's cleaning because ACCM got the Byzantines. Look how cheap units they are. He's cleaning absolutely everything. Where's now the Viper army? He was overconfident there yeah. at some point. And now, the one with the lead and can snowball is the moment now to go aggro. Yep. Siege Wars are forward or something, or, or it's too risky? Uh, it, it, maybe, maybe. You're not there yet. You don't know. And it's also hard to build things because all that, that rock on this yeah. terrain, it's really awkward. I mean, Viper I still think is okay, but he needs monks because but camels won't kill him. He's going he forward. needs monks. No, it's a TC forward. It's a TC forward on that goal. Okay. Well, the good thing now is that with Byzantines, you can still spam an army and you're going to have now the pace of the uh, uh, yeah. of the game for, for ACCM. Village Dammer almost the same, but a lot more army for for the Vietnam player. Yeah, I just, it's okay. just such a frustrating feeling when you... I mean, it's not a frustrating feeling to win that fight like he just did. But when you do that and then you show up to Viper's base, you're then reminded, oh, crap, I've got a camel. Yeah. <laughs> if it's nice then you can kill villagers, but the camels don't really do that all that well. They don't rate. They so don't now, really rate like, I think a castle is what both players are thinking of, whether that be offensive or defensive. We see this stone there for ACCM. And then Viper's been on stone for a while too, and the monks looking for multiple conversions, and they're going to find them. Oh, this is another good battle for ACCM. He has two monks now to convert, but there is Viper with two monks as well. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, he's taking, he's diving in, but both are going to convert each other. Yeah, and both yeah. players will lose their monks, so two sad little lonely monks have to die. Camel ah, number is still huge for ACCM. ACCM is cleaning this. I mean, ACCM is cleaning this. And you don't want to compete in this kind of battles against Byzantines. I agree. It's 25% cheaper, so yeah. no matter what, you're going to have more army. And you're going to produce more army constantly. And that's what is happening. Viper loves this Gebetto, though, man. I just... <laughs> Okay. This, I feel a little bad for players because where are you going to build? <laughs> yeah. Where is Viper supposed to build? There's so much rock, you know? And I guess like ACCM's got a castle spot in front of his TC there. Why Mars Madness? But Rock Madness? Yeah. <laughs> you change the name, right? It has to be because, man. That's a good this. TC from Viper, though, yeah. as he expands. Keep in mind, he's only been on two TCs and he has not had the fish. Those eight or ten fishing ships for ACCM, they've helped keep him level with Viper after all the losses he took. How many players do you see just fold in early cast late when Viper's killing you like that, getting through your walls and everything? Like, every, it feels like yep. everyone does. And here ACCM is still doing just fine. He's fine. His temple is behind. Doesn't matter. I got eight fishing ships. Yeah. So the numbers is the same. Pretty oh, that's a four same. TC from Viper then. Yeah. yeah, it's a four TC. So he'll be on four. And he's ready with the monks here. Honestly, being Byzantines here, you just need three TCs. You are fine. You just reach Imperial faster than your opponent and come from there. Yeah, yeah come from there. But there's uh, many monks now. I thought it may be, ooh, a conversion. That needs to be the deleted camel. Uh, oh, he converted, but now converted back, <laughs> converted this back. This camel has been, this camel's it's been on traitor. both sides already. Uh, Which one a, did he like the most? It's a traitor, converted. Come on. Well, he couldn't. Now is the siege war shop here in this area. Okay. I mean, Viper wants to castle that area. I guarantee it. I don't know a if cow. That's so many camels. Maybe he need to delete the monastery, you know? Yeah. And, and make it there because he's so many camels, so many camels, so many camels from ACCM. He's going to take this battle because this can be mm, a very important battle and uh, not the game, of course, but uh, can, can maybe. Can he fit a castle anywhere? Does Viper need to take that stone? Oh, he's going to drop okay. the castle there. That, that makes sense. But it also doesn't protect the rest of your people. And right. now ACCM will come here with the castle, yeah, where the camels yeah. are, but, you know? Yeah, but, but you don't attack so so much for, from there, yeah. right? Well, you get the, the map control, and if you reach Imperial, you might be possible. Can ACCM that we see that? I don't think he can see that castle. No. No, no, the villain now is going to see it. Uh, Maybe. He has no clue that he sees even there. Okay, now he see the tone send. Oh, he wanted oh, to make the God. castle there, but it's not going to happen. Oh, God. He's oh, no, no, God. no, 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 oh, no, 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 no
going to kill villagers. <laughs> Not actually going to accomplish that much. Viper is weaving through houses now. And ACCM sees it. And oh man, the Megan L push on the TC. The amount of monks from ACCM. Redemption now to convert Siege. ACCM's pressure is ridiculous right now. He's doing all the upgrades. He's really doing all the upgrades. But now we're cheating for ACCM. Tristan, we Our, won that five game. I'm not, I am completely, yeah. nope. I'm completely impartial here. Man. You're lying. You want him to win. You're lying. I'm looking at your face. You want him to game number five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see the camels now. Two, two mangoes, camels and monks. He's gonna lose it because the light guys are there. And now he's oh, gonna what be able a to the see what a fight for ACCM. 120 population, but the Viper with this battle is still ahead because he's raiding at home too. Yeah, and Viper's gonna have Gabetto and like Gabetto wrecks camel, yeah. and the monks are out of the picture now for ACCM. ACCM still hasn't clicked up to imp, and I think Viper, while he's not gonna be happy, he's up against two Byzantine castles. He's still gonna maintain a better economic position. He's doing all right here. I don't like that he did redemption. Like, he's not defending with Siege. Like, you could be up to Imperial already, yeah, basically. Maybe. Maybe. Go up to Imperial and then go from there. I mean, it's... But there's this feeling, right? There's this feeling, especially when Viper hits you with the camels. You're like, I need more. I need to pressure. I can't rest. And, and you know, to, even if it's cheap, you sometimes they're kind of resting a little bit when you wait for the Imperial Age. But, nice but clear you, up there but, from ACCM. But you are on his face. You have the siege yourself. Yep. You have the castle, the siege yourself, and a lot of camels. You just go imp, and then from there, you take down. Well, now, the Viper is the one who is going to be up to Imperial quicker, yep. which is insane when you are playing against Byzantines. Absolutely, I agree. I just I, you know, want to explain the thought process, but, but literally Ooh. the same thing. Viper doesn't have armor army. or army because he's imping now. Yeah. So he then ACCM naturally still has the numbers that he produced, and then he goes to find another location. It's the beauty of the game, man. And I think we're gonna have two very similar Imperial Age times because ACCM's thinking about it now. The resources are being oh, banked, man. and there he clicks up. Oh man, he's on the way to Imperial with one advantage. Yes, two castles from the Viper Malians, but visiting castle tried to take Did it I? down. Didn't he have Gabetto at some point, Viper? Or maybe he didn't have many of them. I don't know. I could have sworn he had five Gabetto, but this has been so crazy. There's one that was converted at one point. I, I think mean, Viper might have yeah. lost some on a raid as he's got to leave that gold there. I mean, you do have two castles if you're Viper. It could actually be three. That might be able to beat the Byzantine one castle. The rare treb win against Byzantines, maybe. Yeah, well, with two castles, it's possible. Uh, both civilization without Siege Engineer, remember, both can do bomber cannons, great monks. Yeah, I mean, the late game, what do you prefer? Can I say it depends or do I have to pick one? I know that you're going to say it depends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, depends. I mean, listen, depends. Uh, oh, shoot, I didn't even. <laughs> Sorry, I, I actually wasn't trying to say it. Um, listen, I would go with Byzantines because Byzantines have the cheap units and they have great options. But I think Malians actually have the greater strength if they get to a comp that Viper likes a lot with like Gabetto Camel or Gabetto Lightcap. So um, it is possible for Viper. He's at, got a solid setup here to push ACCM back. And there's a lot of open golds on the yeah. right side there. ACCM hasn't really protected that. And Viper has done that pretty well. Similar resources in the bank for both players. Barely having food, a lot more wood for the Viper, but gold similar as well. Stone, as you were talking, he could do the third castle. He's uh, trying to get another castle ACCM. He will need it. And the problem here is that uh, so cheap units from, from Byzantines, from Byzantines yep. no matter what, he can also switch into halves. I imagine halves there and, and camels combined. Well, he has Gibetos coming, but you can do hand cannoneers. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the key. Hand I was literally just going to say, that's the key. And we saw him go hand cannons with Berbers. So he should know hand cannons are available for Byzantines. Because while Gibetto are a low HP unit, they, they have insane attack, and that insane attack shreds all the three units you mentioned, and all the three units that are cheap. The camels, the pikemen, and the skirmishers. Unless you have like huge numbers of skirmishers, it's really got to be Arbalest if it's a ranged unit. And here's Viper starting to spread out now with these Gibetto. And as you can see, Camel's going to go down. I mean, he's got no upgrades on these things. But it still kills the Camel, will kill Villagers, and he has more Capetto starting to yep. loop around on the right side of ACCM's eco as well. And ACCM didn't notice that he's coming around with those Capettos you were mentioning. And as you can see, blood printing helps, definitely. He has the range extra, but that Mog is down here. Didn't notice his massacre. And traps from Viper. So many villages and, and, and traps from Viper. He's going to have four traps. ACCM may choose to dive with camels for those trebs, which isn't the best. 
And we could see some classic Viper quick gating to protect the traps here soon, shortly. But it feels like Viper's clawing his way into a big lead here, man. Yeah, but he's not noticing. That's kind of weird. He's, he lost here 20 Valise. Maybe 20 is too much, but 15, now he noticed, you know, and I'm really, really surprised that he never made chemistry yet. Those Gavators are taking more villas and wow. And the Camels too, like the uh, Camels will die very quickly. Even more in that spot. Yeah, and it's just, it's heavy Camels, so it's Imp Camels with Imp Armor. So he will probably clear it in the end, but yeah. that's not what you want with Camels. Vipers switch completely away from the units that the cheap Byzantine units can counter. It's still... Losing a lot, a hundred villas, he used to have a lot of farming, and now that castle is in danger. He has a mangonel, he's coming with camel. The monks are crucial now, the monks are crucial, the mangonel is gonna be down, but the monks can convert those. Mm, they distribute it on the left, he should maybe dive in and take it, but decide to go and take the one on the castle. Can we go back? Thank you, Mr. Vodka. And those trebles are going to be Camels don't take trebles out that quickly. Yes. Camels they don't not. take trebles out that quickly, they are, he they are upgraded. But Viper could be repairing those trebs. It looks like he's lost one. ACCM still is repairing his own trebs, though. And he might take out this castle. This is where all the gold is for the Viper. And Viper's Gabetto number isn't that high. They're not elite. There could be more production from ACCM. He can convert the Gabettos with his monks. He can then use the camels against the light cap. And Viper's at the limit here. He's pop capped. And he's gonna lose a castle, and it's gonna get worse. Viper can't produce for the next minute here. Ooh, there you go. No houses at all. The Trebuchet is gonna be down, but now it doesn't matter too much because the job is done. And now with those cameras, the Trebuchet probably are going to be down as well. Yeah. You need to move to the left and keep going. Now is the timing from ACCM, who is taking the score lead not for so long. The Viper is taking it again. Back and forth for both players. Who is taking the game? Yeah, I don't know, because like for Viper, you need Gabetta, right? And you're now gonna have to build a new castle. Ooh. It's clear to me that he didn't quite get the unit mass that he needed. It was such a beautiful job from ACCM, man. Obviously, he got raided, but he was always ready to bush. He's now castling the same area that he had castled before. And, uh, and he's just got to be careful now. And I think it takes us back to chemistry. You've got to get chemistry in to have some hand cannons out because Viper's Gabetto mass is growing. It's at 16. Viper gets to about 20, 30 of these things with upgrades and everything dies. Only problem here for ACCM, his economy is at the limit. He doesn't have chemistry, but not only that, no botkin, no nothing, no ballistic. Like with plus three, he could take all this area completely and keep going. Obviously, he's still in the game thanks that Byzantines yeah. is very cheap because he lost a lot of bullets. He's 51 bullets lost yeah. by ACCM, but he is still pushing and now raiding a lot the Viper economy. Yeah, but he's running into a castle that does have yeah. ballistics, right? That does have fletching. He's running into Gabetto that still have a lot of attack. And I know the Look units are cheap, now. but I don't think this is what ACCM wants to be right now. But you do this as a player, man, when you know everything you just said. It's going to take you a long time to get some of those upgrades. It's going to take him a long time to switch. And so sometimes you just kind of, you just go for it. But going for it there was not the answer. No. It wasn't, and now it's skirmishers. Skirmishers are okay, but against Gebetos fully abraded, elite Gebetos, yep, I don't even it. think that is the answer either. I would rather have Arvalis, but we are going to back to the economy. He doesn't have the economy to afford anything else yep. right now. He needs to protect that castle, and now, without chemistry, how do you take those trebuchet down, Tristan? Mm -mm, you don't, man. You don't. And, and like that, it, those Gebetos are elite now. 13 base attack, more attack upgrades coming in. Vipers and Glycav as well could start to raid. That's a nice find there from ACCM. I think, like, ultimately, the castle he's repairing now, he always loses that. That is just to buy him time. That yeah. is to buy him time for the switch. So, we are, I mean, what a, what a crazy game. We are not far removed from oh. a 200 versus 200 population game. Tell me that he never got the university. After this trebuchet, I think he's building on the north, and that's probably going to be the university. Oh! Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have the university, man. Make, Make sure you go to school, time. kids. Make sure oh, you go yeah, to school. Yeah. Don't skip school. Thank you. <laughs> okay. He's going to take the, the castle down. Not yet. The trebuchets are hitting high HP. I think he's not even doing the university yet. Well, there's probably an idle villager that was oh like on the, across the map. There he Now, goes. Yeah. there you go. Okay. Now we can focus. This castle is so important. Is he massive skirmishes? Yes, he is. Let's see those skirms. Are you going to be able to take the Gebetos? I don't I don't think they're amazing again. But Gebeto is 50 HP. So it's like, That's the good thing. even if you're not doing a ton of damage, the, the unit is weak. The problem is Viper now has time to mix in some more cav of his own. And yet again, it's like Viper's been able to soak up some pressure. He's got, uh, you know, another raid oh, coming man. in. 
Th that that area needs to be castled yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and he has a stone, a couple of towers. Yeah. The good thing, uh, Gebetos, they die against the towers. You make towers, guard towers with ballistic. Only that, Gebetos yeah, die. Viper snipe the trap. They Viper die. snipe the trap. Yeah. I mean, I said that AC Sam was just going to let this castle go down, but he he really feels like he can't right now. And he was actually trying to push there, but that was a trickle trap, man. But you can't just send in one trap against Viper and expect to get away with it. And I'm still waiting to see Farimba for Viper. I'm still waiting to see Armor. He's missing upgrades on his cap. Many. So, you know, if that improves, uh, his situation's probably good enough to win. For now, it's mainly Gabetto. Castle is down. I don't know if he should try to make a few towers to avoid some raid. And actually, with the army the Viper has, the towers is the solution to be, to be safe at home because there's a lot to multitask. But how to push now? If you are Byzantines, with the army he has, I feel that it's not possible. He need chemistry as soon as possible. Viper doesn't even have final armor for the Gabetto. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, it, it, you don't normally see Viper delaying some of these technologies. Normally at this stage, like he's going for other technologies, but you got to think about it. We have our first Drummond sighting of the series. That is a unit that the Byzantines can make. That is like a Manganel ship. Is quite strong. I'd love to see a couple Dramans more. Maybe take flatten out those Gabettos, man. We talked about how low they are on HP. Yeah, I think there is another one. I don't know where in the map because I see two created and he's creating the third. Yep, there, there you it go. is. This that, is that, the that's really one. smart. Okay. Yeah, even more in this map. He's going yep. all around. You take everything, you know. But yep. uh, let's see. Population is still 200 population for the Viper. ACCM 172. He's even housed, doing more armor. Still with the light gas and some camels. Look at Viper's gold counts. <laughs> oh my Viper, lord. Viper, okay, everyone should do this when they and play the game. Is. At a certain point when you realize you don't have one tech, you just go, upgrade check, and then you just get every upgrade you can. It, it'll probably, yep, there's hand card. All right, Viper, what's next? Are we going to see the blacksmith next? Wait for it, man. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Blacksmith check, and now. Okay, well, but he should be, right? And if he did, it would make us look really smart. But of course, Viper doesn't like to do that! Ooh. Oh, Please. that could have been bad. Lead those units, the, the, the Dromos are dominating there. Getting herbal medicine before freaking armor, Viper? What the? Big raid from Viper here. And again, what we said, man, not enough castles, not enough defense to protect from the raids right now for ACCM. Yeah, finally, chemistry. I mean, chemistry. When you are in this kind of situation, chemistry is the first upgrade. In Imperial, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's the first. Hand cannon is against the Kibetos. They, they take it. I don't know. I'm some of the protection. But it's still, it's easy to say when you're watching. You yeah, know, when it's you easy. Are, when exactly. You're playing, you know, there's so much going on. Also, you feel the pressure, you know. And the drone is down. The castle is still there. Skimmers is going to take those light gas in. Population is still super high for both. And at the end, there will be a moment that uh, ACCM will have finally all the upgrades for Byzantines. But still, we need to see something else. Well, it's 22 camels and 24 uh, skirmishes. Viper must think he's maxed on techs right now because he's got even Tigui, which means his TC fire errors to help with raids. But like, Farimba could still come in and a lot more blacksmith upgrades. So, with Viper with four and a half thousand gold. Oh my god. You're against Byzantines, man, right? You can kill them if you have the upgrades. But like, Byzantine units are cheap. The weakness of Byzantine units is they themselves lack the upgrades. But ACCM actually has better camel upgrades than Viper right now. Yeah. I mean, he's doing now uh, heavy camels, but then he can also switch into... Oh, that's going to be a slaughter. Oh, man. You got to be careful. Those chemises, as you can see, are not doing too much. It's true that you can create these chemises forever. So not a big problem. And yeah. it's on Viper base. I mean, now ACCM is not really getting raided. I think there is some raid a little bit again in the north, but not too much. Yeah, nice yeah. raid. I mean, raiding with camels when the fastest unit Viper has is light cabs, really nice. Viper getting chemistry himself right now. And this game, I don't want to say it's stabilized, but it definitely feels as though Viper's given ACCM a little bit more time to come back into this game. And ACCM's fight has kept him in this, folks. And it is 2-1 right now for Viper, who if he wins this game, will win the series and then be 3-1 in the group stage. A massive position for him. ACCM is 1-2 right now. He would be 1-3 in the group stage if he loses this game in the series then. I mean, so he's doing we, all. He's got to win this one. Hit the shot even carrying. I mean, he's doing all the upgrades right now. And oh, apparently a blacksmith doesn't exist for Viper right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's honestly just Viper thinking he already has the upgrades. Right? There's, there's no other explanation for it, but that's a lot of upgrades to already have at this point. Nice castle denial there from ACCM with those dramas. You deny that castle is still good, good army numbers for ACCM, but it, it, you don't feel that he can push uh, at all. He can't, but he's got 180 pop. He, he might take some time to build up some traps and like, 
I, I think a comeback is maybe doable right now. I know Viper's sitting on the 5k gold, but Viper's not exactly pushing ACCM either at the moment. Yeah, well, he's those, those Gavitos are melting all those units, as you guys can see. More Gavitos coming. 35 Gavitos that is still not fully abraded. Yep. You know, I mean... But uh, he's unable to finish the game. It looks really, he's, really good he's, for the Viper. Yeah, he's going... Yeah, what he's doing, he's switching side to side. Here's the double POV here. And we could see uh, Viper uh, above his screen there. That's his point of view. And then ACCM below. And you can see Trebs pushing through the middle right now. And Viper is also simultaneously raiding both of those sides. And the population for ACCM, right when we switch to this scene, really starting to dip. It's down near the 150s. Viper's maxed out. And uh, Viper is... Uh, he's still got 4K gold, man. Yeah. It's that crazy. Crazy amount of gold. I mean... With all resources, how you can lose. Oh, no, and the Gabetto can find the Dramans. Dramans are not cheap, and the fires are there as well. And like you said, Memp, looks like it's getting closer and closer to a Viper victory here. 4,000 is core. The, the longest. Score, remember? <laughs> remember, it's one game more. You know, go the, on, Mr. Tristan. The, the longest Marsh Madness game we have had at NAC, and it is ACCM, so it might be a little bit longer. I think the GG might have been called, GG. though. The GG's called. And Viper fine. takes the 3-1 victory. What a game. ACCM really made Viper work for it today. What a nice series. What a nice series with some things that could have done a little bit better in this game from ACCM, I think. Well, you know, it's complicated, but he needed the hand cannonies more yeah, than the other yeah. units, you know. It's just 